the relationship between landlord tenant is inherently parasitic because you're working, you're paying their mortgage, and then they get they keep the value of the the property. You should get equity in that in that property. So your theory is based in we completely get rid of real estate in like as a market entirely. I'm not with you on this at all. Because, because he so thinks he's like a, he thinks he's like a big shot. <laughs> he thinks he like deserves he thinks he deserves all the money that he has. <laughs> Dude, he's feeling himself too much. <laughs> of my door. It's kind of a pain. Do you walk your son up, or do you have to like hold him and carry him up? Uh, yeah, he'll go on my shoulders. Yeah, yeah. So that's nice. like a workout. It is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That's brutal. And I was sick the other day, and I did it. I thought I was gonna. I thought my heart was gonna explode. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is how I die. <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah. You got to carry him all around town if you walk around the neighborhood? Um, yeah, he, yeah, he like doesn't like going in the stroller. Oh, really? If you put him in the stroller, going? he cries uh, and he wants to go. Yeah, we'll start. Yeah, let's he start. wants to ride on my shoulders. Oh, I would I would like that, but too, it's, more I than guess a stroller. Extra, yeah. You know, yeah, if yeah. I was a baby, I can see his logic. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Are you getting any new muscle <laughs> development from the Am kid I? Carrying? I don't know. It would be only definitely. be like right here. You just have one huge trap on the shoulder. That is kind of a dad thing to have like big shoulders and traps and then just a big gut. Yeah, and forearms. Yeah. Big ass forearms. My dad always had like yeah. massive forearms. I know. I'm going to stop beating myself up about the gut. Yeah. Because I'll just, I'll just grow my arms and my shoulders. Yeah, just ma- make fun. it match. Yeah. I also think you sure. are, you're a father. It's kind of a yeah. point of pride. Yeah, yeah. Like you've made your... Yeah. I'm going to embrace... <laughs> you gotta embrace it would be it. nice to be ripped, though. A that ripped dad? Sick. Yeah. That's a lot of work. I don't work, think though. that's a lot of work. Ripped dad's weird because you're like, are you ignoring your child to go to the gym? Sure. Yeah. Where are you going all the yeah. time? You don't have any time to like eat vegetables. No, there's no. Yeah, exactly. Everything I eat is just. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. There's a guy I watch on Instagram sometimes and he's shredded and like uh-huh. 50. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he just works out in his backyard, but he's doing like. Maybe that's what He's I'll like do. throwing his legs out like a cat. Yeah. Like, yeah. He's yeah. doing these crazy workouts. Yeah. I also don't know how those guys like ligaments and tendons hold up. I don't know. They probably stretch probably a lot. Probably testosterone. Yeah. Or because I think that. Is the AC gone? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I just Whatever. did a humming. I think that body weight stuff is like probably more functional. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's better it than like lifting weights. It's more like functional exercise. Yeah, every, yeah. every calisthenics guy I've ever seen yeah, has been all, absolutely diced. Yeah, they're yeah. in great shape. Like, usually those like they're, in the they're in the best shape. They're in the best shape, the calisthenics guys. Yeah. yeah. They're shredded. There's yeah. guys on Coney Island, like, yeah, like you were saying, they're like 80, 85 dudes. years old. And really? Just, yeah, they, yeah they, they have the bodies yeah. of like 25 year old basketball like players. Black and they're black. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're all black. He's got to be black. They're black. There's that's not a white guy. I saw some Puerto Ricans out there, but there were no white guys. Were they old, though? What? The, the Puerto Ricans? They were all old. Oh, okay. They had like a calisthenics club on the beach in Coney Island. Nice. Yeah, yeah and there's middle-aged guys doing muscle-ups. Dude, that's it. Kind of having the time of their lives. Yeah, it sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Someday. Someday I'll do a muscle-up. <laughs> <laughs> that's my goal is to do a muscle-up. Yeah. Dude. When I'm 80 and I weigh 90 pounds. <laughs> Dude, you're... But you need... To do that, you need like strong shoulders or something, right? There's like a part of the movement... Where you have to really like pull yourself up, and you, you need, need a something. strong entire upper body. Yeah, yeah I, I think understand. Yeah. because the what? pushing is your chest and triceps. Right. The pulling is your whole back. But like. how do you get yourself from like pulling up to like pushing? There's something over oh, here. Oh, you gotta rotate like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. That's it's all like shoulders. shoulders. That's shoulders, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you also have to basically be you have to do a push up up and have the bar like on yeah. your chest, which is insane. that's hard. That's yeah. insane to be like this. Like, yeah. You ever think about how far away you are from? Where like a guy like that. Oh like, yeah, it's an, I take me like, years I, I just I think about like in, yeah, in amounts of time. I'm like, not only do I have to like live my life perfectly, but I'd have to do it for like 13 years. Like even if I did yeah. everything right, I don't think I'd look like that in like three years. Yeah, I think yeah, I'd yeah. take like a decade and a half. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's yeah. never ever gonna happen. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's so far away that you go. Who cares? But you, that's like some fitness guy would be like, that shouldn't be your goal. It should be to. Mm-hmm. These guys are so fucking. Do annoying. one more push yeah, up yeah. than last week. And, yeah. And bu- bu- bu. yeah. Yeah. But so yesterday I got home and I met up with my wife and I said like do you want to get Chipotle for dinner and she was like she goes well I'd rather go to that pizza place that you hate and get like a pizza and a salad it just made me feel like so disrespectful <laughs> she literally said that pizza place that, that you, you hate. hate I want to go to that restaurant that you hate yeah I've gotten hit with I know you don't like, like I just made twelve hundred dollars <laughs> do you know how many comedians can make twelve hundred dollars on a Wednesday night <laughs> a bunch of my ass in Des Moines I'm in the yeah. 14 people came out I'm in the Point oh oh one percent entertainers. <laughs> you actually are. You really are. On I Wednesday know. Chicago, yeah. it's pretty I good. know. I know. It's pretty nice. 
I know, dude. You were you were, you were putting that on your Instagram story about the pizza place you hate. You yeah. were kill- you're kind of bringing back like I think you're you're giving a new life to like the old ball and chain <laughs> comedy. Yeah, you cracked me up on Instagram Thanks. when you were going. You there's one where you just were walking to the kitchen. You're like on today's episode of What's Deb's Problem. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's awesome. Yeah, well, it's definitely like a tightrope walk to talk about your wife in that way. Yeah, because you don't want to be like, oh, my fucking wife. Yeah, right. I don't want to be like a boomer where you're like, I hate my wife. Right. Are we recording? Yeah, yeah we yeah. are. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be like a boomer where you're like, I hate my wife. But you right. want to talk about your relationship in an honest way. Yeah. But you also don't want to be one of these like Portland comics who's like, yeah, I actually uh, like my wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so gay to do that. Uh, yeah, so that's why that. I married her. That's why I married her. She's uh, my uh, favorite person. Uh, yeah, no, we're yeah, best gonna, friends. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with someone I don't like. Uh, no yeah. thanks. No thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah no, that should suck. Shut up. <laughs> You're living with a person. You picked one person to live with. You're not gonna fucking hate them. You're not gonna. I've yeah, lost so many them. friends by becoming roommates with them. Yeah, I hate their guts after like three months. Yeah. And then sometimes your partner does stuff, and you just got You got to take a deep breath, and you go, "This is what they do. <laughs> this is their thing." Yes. And everybody that you live with is gonna have a thing. A hundred percent. You know, dude. everyone. That we you... all have things. They have things. We were Still talking about it with, shit out of each other. with Jolly. Yeah. We were talking about about the like conversations where you're like, you're not listening to me. Yeah, <laughs> you're saying your part, and then you don't listen to my part. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're breaking down the the pieces of a conversation. Like yeah. you're breaking down the body parts of a conversation. You're mm-hmm. like. No, no, no. You talk, and then I get to respond. Yeah. You're picking and choosing. Like, you can't just be yeah. a one-way thing. Yeah. 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 You do have to take a deep breath about the stuff that bothers you. Yeah. You got to learn how to, yeah, pick those pick those battles. Picking the battles is the... It's tough. Because mm-hmm. I just want to be like... I'm like, do I say something? But what do you fight over when you don't have kids? What do we fight over? Yeah. You and Deb never fought before you had kids? No, we did. But, I, but I'm thinking, like, <laughs> what the hell do we even fight over? Yeah, what did you before? We're just... Yeah. Yeah. Well, the fights just, are really meaningless. Yeah. Like, they're not they're about They're way anything. less meaningful than what they Yeah, they're not about sure, anything important. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to remember yeah. the last thing me and my girl fought about. I don't know. She did give me shit the other day because I said true. And she goes, mm-hmm. you keep saying true. I'm like, oh, like, and that's your... And she thinks that's your way of, like, not listening. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. You know, it might be, actually. True. That's a great way to... <laughs> yeah, she was yeah, just yeah. like, I just don't like that you're saying true all the time. Right, right, I was right. like, what are you talking about? She goes, you didn't used to say that. It's She's kind of right. It's kind of dismissive. Yeah, it is. It's kind of a default, like, response. Well, I don't have anything to add. I don't have anything to add. What am I supposed to do? I, I do that. I go, no, 100%. I just say 100%. 100%. I have no idea what the other person said. But you know what? I'm like, the whole thing. But you know what's also funny? You never know when you you're being annoying because you never think you're being annoying. No, but sometimes you are, and sometimes like uh, like Deb and I, we were like, "What if we tried doing like a little podcast together, like a little you know, yeah, yeah. YouTube show?" Nice. And I watched it back, and I was like, oh, "Am I? Am I? Is this what I'm like? Uh, you know what I mean?" Yeah, I was like, "Oh, maybe I'm like the annoying one here." We did you think you were being a dick, or did you think you were just literally annoying? Just being kind of like a like a little like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like actually like sassy. A, yeah, yeah. Sometimes she'll be like, "Can you have a day where you don't freak out?" <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, Autumn says this almost I, exact same thing to me. All yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. She's and she's like trying to like be like. It's like I'm like a tiger that's about to explode. She's like, "No, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay." <laughs> yeah. She does that with me. She's like, no, 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 we can be fine. Fine. Does that don't make worry. you go worse? No, it, it's actually sweet. Okay. She does it mm-hmm. because. I don't freak out at her. Yeah. Like, I'm not like, ah, you bitch. I'm yeah. just like, I just scream into the sky. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she's just like, I think it gives her anxiety to watch me do that. I know, yeah. And she feels sad for me because of, of love. So yeah. she's just trying to make me be like, you don't need to scream. Yeah. Can, Everything's fine. Right. Yeah. That's so funny. Dude. I'm full old man about like, I stopped wearing high top shoes. Because oh, I good. don't like why, how long why? it takes to get them on. I want to slide my feet in and Absolutely. out of the shoes, Absolutely. and it really annoys me to have to untie and tie them every Sucks. time. Yeah, I had annoying. these ones, those, those white ones, those blazers. Mm. Autumn was like, you, oh, you look yeah. really cute in these. Those and then, are nice blazers. Dude, it's so hard to get them on. I have to be like, Argh! like yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm really yeah, using yeah. all my upper body to get them on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the last time I did it, I threw them like a child across the room. I was like, oh, fuck, I got them! And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. throwing the shoes across. And I'm like, I hate these shoes. I'm like, circling the shoes yeah. like it's like a street fight and I just knock them out I'm like no. yeah <laughs> fucking shoes and then bitch. for some reason the laces are like too long they're like clown laces yes. oh yeah and you have these loopy the things that. dragging on the ground yeah, yeah I have those I on my shoes now I step on them regularly I get yeah. untied yeah. shoes all the time like a fourth grader yeah <laughs> it's infuriating yeah I'm really like I'm getting older because the little things yeah I do have like dad freak outs about like 
the the TV's not working, and I just yeah. lose my mind. Yeah. What do we pay for? <laughs> well, it becomes more like existential because you're like nothing works anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, Dude, my dad is this way. Stuff yeah. breaks all the time yeah. now. Oh yeah, you even notice like like toys. I feel like were better when we were a kid. Now everything's made out of this like light plastic. Yeah, you know. Yes, and it breaks. Yeah. Dude, Thomas the it's Train not... toys were like wood dense wooden toys. Yeah, yeah. you could. Bust another kid's head Your brother's open head open. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They had like they nice were weapons. sharp so, yeah. angles on them. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> he doubled his weapons. <laughs> yeah. 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 I could I fuck that. someone up with the Dude, Lincoln. We, yeah, we had a big ass set of blocks in my uh, first grade class. I remember a kid just wailing on another kid with like just like a brick. Mm-hmm. Like, it was so, like a civil rights like brick. You know? Salt with a deadly weapon. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> so civil, what did you think the civil rights movement? <laughs> 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 on the other side, oh, okay. on the bad side, so, all right, all right. <laughs> like when you hurl a brick through a window. <laughs> just, just imagine Martin yeah, Luther King. Martin Luther King holding, holding a brick. Like, yeah. I have a dream. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was originally I have a brick. Christian was sick all of February. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I was fucking pissed off. <laughs> you thought that's what the speech was? <laughs> Let's he... all throw bricks. <laughs> <laughs> we should all throw bricks. No, I. You know what I mean? Just like a. Did yeah. <laughs> did you catch you, caught, you Christian? Oh, did you call me Christian? His name Christoph. Oh, sorry. You called him Christian because I was trying to do. I was trying to get the, the bit out. It's okay. Everybody, I just no, like it okay. that everybody. You I know it's. I know his name is Christoph. Like the yeah. longtime <laughs> friends of ours have been calling you Christian. I know. I don't know it's what so this is. funny to me. He just gets no respect. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no, no. no you I know it's Christoph, it. but yeah. <laughs> you don't have to feel bad about it. We were all chatting, and I was trying to get it out. I was trying to, it's easier to say. It is easier to say. I did not forget your name. It's okay. I don't. I'm Christoph not, does take kind of a hard. Right? It's it like kind I'm of kind of frustrated heart. at the name itself. I've flirted with just. Isn't that like by Santa's Chris. name? Yeah, it is. Really? <laughs> I don't know. No, yeah. it's n- Nick. <laughs> Say Nick. But Christoph sounds like it's from like Sweden or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's Nick. <laughs> no, no, no. It's Chris Kringle. <laughs> oh, well, that's right. Old Saint Nick is Chris Kringle. This is not adding up. Yeah, I don't Chris, know. Christoph Kringle. He's Googling. It's Christoph Kringle. What is Santa's name? Saint Nicholas. Chris <laughs> Kringle. Okay, that's, he's that's like Chris his, Christopherson. Uh, his original name was Chris Kringle before he changed his name to. What? I don't know. Such a fucking attention whore. But in the movie, yeah, in the Santa, what's the Santa Claus movie? The stop motion movie. His name is Chris Kringle. He's like a guy with red hair. What's oh, the stop yeah. motion Santa movie? Are you talking about it's like called, uh, Rudolph? Yeah, like the, yeah, but there's a version where it's like young Santa. He's got red hair. He's yeah. like a hot guy with red hair. <laughs> Dude, oh, like really? a young Santa. They do like a millennial Santa? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> young nice. hot Santa. Young, <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go. Uh, all right. Show's over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to fucking jack off. <laughs> Dude, imagine that guy's coming down your chimney. Well, he can I come wish. down more than my chimney. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's an angel. Yeah. I like that kind of stuff. Can you, he, he can have shitty pizza with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I like that place, Deb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. They That's do my favorite different. place for a slice. Yeah, they got yeah. different styles and stuff. Why don't know? you like that pizza place? Um, you know, it's not bad. I, I'm sorry to break the fourth wall. Can I plug in my phone? Sure. Yeah, yeah of course, dude. I'm sorry. There's no fourth walls. Yeah. Sometimes podcasters, yeah. our batteries get really low. Yeah. Oh, we don't have a charger yeah. over there. I got it. You got it? You got it, buddy? Let's go. I'll Thanks, tell Joe. you what I don't like about this pizza place. Yeah, tell me. <laughs> it's a chain, okay. and they're pretending that they're not a chain. Oh, you know what, that, what is it? You know that thin, it's a place, it says like thin crust pizza on the awning, and it's mm-hmm. like Spunto, Grupo, Bredo. They all have different names. Oh, Vezzo, yeah. They all have different names, but, but they're I'm all the same sure place. They're, they're a chain. Okay. The pizza's really thin. The pizza's not bad, Yeah, but it's not, in a stone's throw, there's like four other better exactly. pizza places in the neighborhood. Right. Yeah. And she's like, and they they also have like Mexican food on the menu. Uh, that pisses me off. That's yeah. not nice at all. I only yeah. want to see that at a diner. Yeah. Where the you have like seven, seven different, different things. Cuisines. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even like that, dude. I, I just want a diner to have like pancakes and, t- and a turkey sandwich and that's it. Yeah. Like, that's all I want. I feel like the scientist in the movie, I'm like, no one's listening to me. <laughs> it's a chain. <laughs> don't you see? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's like uh, that movie with the glasses or whatever. They're yeah. The they live. They live. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. All, it's for pizza restaurants. So mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. That coal oven's two years old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They just installed that. Yeah. No, yeah. I, yeah. It's like, it's not bad, but, but. It's not that great. They, she also got a bunch of French fries, a bunch of waffles fries mm. i'm like these are okay but you know i'm like why there's like really there's literally four other there's four better pizza places <laughs> the funny thing is that you wanted to go to chipotle 
Because it's because it's fast, it's easy. I have yeah. I had to do a podcast. Yeah, I did yeah. my podcast last night. My shitty podcast. Shitty out podcast. for smokes. It's not shitty. Out for smokes is good, dude. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Like Go it, watch dude. out for smokes. You had Finkelstein on. We had Norman Finkelstein on. Yeah, How was it? Cool. The show. You guys um, probably it hit good. it off. I think we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You was, know, you don't you don't hang out with a lot of people. Where you're like, oh, I wish we could hang out like, more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish we could be, you know, do more Zoom. Yeah, yeah. but Norman but Finkelstein. Finkelstein was one. Yeah, because there's just so much you want to talk to him about. Yeah, of course. You know? And I'm not like Destiny, where I'm like, you know, being a disrespectful, <laughs> Dude, that, that cuck video scumbag. Was... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that so guy sucks. Tweeted something yeah, about I Israel, sucked. and I saw someone like. I thought I liked him though. Well, See, I, I thought I liked him. I thought I liked him because his his videos would pop up in my uh, yeah. my TikTok for you page, and he'd be like, "Yeah, abortion's fine," you know. I'd be yeah. like, that's right, Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn right, that's Destiny. right, Destiny. You know what? You got blue hair. You're spitting. Yeah. Blue hair. Your wife's got a boyfriend, dude. <laughs> Mad respect. College is too expensive. That's right. Yeah, it is too expensive. Yeah, spot yeah. on, Destiny. Minimum wage is good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. and then he started with maybe we should. He literally said maybe we should genocide Gaza. Yeah. You know what was the what was the rationale there? His uh, his ex wife got fucked by. A <laughs> I'm not making that up. <laughs> by a Palestinian. By some Arabic guy. Oh, he, 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 he and he's it. on stream talking about if you like search for it. He's like, yeah, me and Melina, we were doing cuck stuff, and she wanted to find this Arabic guy with like a really big cock, and I had to watch him fuck her Whoa, for yeah. four nights in a row. It, 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 you, so you're bad. like, you're like, how does this exist? But it, but it does. It's yeah, also it does. so funny to be like a bitter cuck. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, why would yeah, I thought they were happy. Stop doing it. <laughs> yeah, I did think it. they were all happy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, why would you do that <laughs> if you didn't want to do that? You thought yeah. all cucks were happy? <laughs> kind of. Like, with the well, arrangement, at least. Yeah, not yeah, not yeah. internally. Like, something's deeply wrong. Because but... in your head, a cuck is like, yeah, it's just, I love watching. I love <laughs> yes. Life. In my head, I'm like, you would, no, no, you no. would only do that if it was your favorite thing. Yeah. But to I be It's like I pull you aside. I'm like, Christoph, have you ever thought about watching another man? <laughs> Make love to your girlfriend. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I've always sh- thought about I'm wearing that. a silk robe. It's <laughs> yeah. open. I'm, yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I've always glass. needed this. No, but it comes it's from really like a deep fantastic. insecurity. Every cuck I've ever seen talks about them being like, oh, it's I could never do that. Like, I could never fuck my wife that good. Like, that's mm. kind of like how they get off. Oh, okay. So it's inherently like imbe- like humiliating. Like, mm. I think that's what they like is being but it's, humiliated. But the way he does I guess they're comfortable with... Uh, the reality of that yeah well maybe i in mean my they're mind. comfortable yeah. enough to let it happen but yeah. i mean you know it's yeah. pretty embarrassing i mean the cucking thing <laughs> is, yeah. i'll say it it's deeply embarrassing it's a wild thing to do but to do it i assume they were doing it like yeah this is so hot to do it to have a, a guy mm-hmm. fuck your wife who go fuck this sucks like, <laughs> i know and he goes so that's he goes, part of it he goes yeah we did it for like four nights and it was um yeah it was pretty rough <laughs> <laughs> he's talking really really fast yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah but my wife got fucked really fast yeah, i fucking hated it yeah. <laughs> no, he, no that's he, the, he, you don't want to judge anybody obviously <laughs> but yeah but he was know. like yeah he was like proud you know proud of it yeah but i don't think he yeah i don't think he liked it yeah i want to see destiny talking about <laughs> i like this there you youtube go, title <laughs> I don't know. Mr. Is cock. Cock. I think it's an open relationship thing. Yeah, but didn't he say? Oh, okay, we're not. But he watching, said in his stream. He, guy. he said in his stream like me and Molina went to uh, Amsterdam or something, and she wanted to ha- have sex with this <laughs> Arabic guy with a with a fifteen inch cock. I was, saw that and I had to watch it. It was brutal. There was and now he's like turned it into a parking lot. Yeah, like now he's just like turned Gaza. Yeah, into fucking. Glass. What? It's probably not just that, but I'm that sure that has something it. to do with it. Yeah, I'm raise sure that it has to something the ground. To do with it. Yeah, scorched earth. But Finkelstein dog walked him. Yeah, he really did. It was pretty embarrassing. And he called yeah. him like nine different names. That was pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah, when he was Mr. Like, Botticelli, Mr. Morielli. Yeah, <laughs> if you want to be moronic, you could be moronic, and yeah. everybody will hear. Yeah, yeah. I like, tried to like joke I... around with him a little bit. And he was like, "I'm not going to get into your comedy routine <laughs> <laughs> because I'm funnier." <laughs> yeah, he said I'm much funnier. Yeah. Yeah. Did he cut you? Yeah, he cut me. Did he yeah, cut yeah. you? Cut by <laughs> you Stay away from my wife. <laughs> I'm having sex with your wife. (laughs) You can never fuck her like I do. There is something to be said. He's like in his 70s, but he's got like a chiseled face. Yeah, he is like like very upright. He looks, he's a good looking guy. He looks fresh. And then every Zionist they have him debate just looks like a a, a a toad from Amazon. No (laughs) offense. He looks like a melt. Yeah, they look like gargoyles. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I don't know. The one guy with Destiny was all right. I mean, he was at least like lucid. Benny Morris. Yeah, yeah. he, he I was. That. I mean, he has horrific Some opinions. Professor. Like he's yeah. not a he's not an idiot. He's just kind of evil. Sure. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. More so than he is stupid necessarily. Yeah. What's the Zionist argument? 
it's our land. We could murder everybody for it. I don't know. It's Rich Voss. There's a million. I mean, there's. It's. it's he'll, he'll break it down for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's Rich Voss. He's, good. He's a resident expert on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to see Rich Voss versus uh, Finkelstein so badly. Yeah, I mean that Dude, would be. Did great. you see that thing? Well, I was talking to Bonnie the night. She's like, "Yeah, he's never even been to Israel." Isn't that so funny. <laughs> He's, He's never like, been out I of the tri state yeah. area. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But we did we did like chat I did chat with him for a little bit and he was like uh you know, he was just telling me that like I was uninformed, you know. So I think people are most people are pretty decent. Most people that I guess we encounter are decent. They just have different information. Yeah. I don't know. No, that makes sense. But I was like, can you come do my podcast? And he goes, I would rather walk through Lebanon wearing a yarmulke. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, all right, you're funny. I'm funny. But you, know, you probably could. Silly like, guys. Like this, yeah, you're not going to die. You're saying Lebanon like it's some, you know, yeah. scary place. People are from there. Yeah. He's a quarter Lebanese. I'm a quarter Lebanese. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I had a feeling. Because <laughs> it's because I like you. <laughs> yeah. No, like Beirut's a nice city. Is it? Yeah. Nice. Except and when those like, firecrackers blew yeah, up. Yeah, except for that fireworks. Dude, they're literally like, it was a giant warehouse of 4th of July. Fire, yeah. Well, not 4th of July, whatever they're. It's nice, except when Israel day. lobs missiles at them. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. Yeah. Could you, do you have an in with Hezbollah? Yeah. I don't know if they'd want me. Why really? not? They'd I don't like, think I'm up to code. Hmm. You could you could join Hezbollah. Don't say that. You think so? I got to grow yeah. my hair. Not with this pretty. haircut. <laughs> yeah. And my facial hair doesn't. It's not nice. Right. You have a decent facial hair. It grows in patchy. Yeah. I feel it's like those guys patchy. got thick, nice beards. If you grew okay. it long enough, it would look all right. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, I think so. I can't get. Do you, you grow yours out? This this here is patchy. Me but too. The, it looks yeah. bad. Yeah. And I, I can't have a goatee. You mm-hmm. could. Yeah. You used to have a goatee, though. I've been through every. every <laughs> Did you ever have a mustache? Hair. What's that? You ever just had rock a mustache? Yeah. yeah, nice. You had a goatee In leather t- jacket face. Did I? I remember. I, I remember. I think when I first met you, you were like a little like a tan leather jacket and a goatee. You kind of looked like a cool guy. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, it didn't last long, obviously. <laughs> Yeah. In high school, I had a sh- one of those shitty uh, chin straps. Oh, oh really? really? For a hot minute. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. that rocks. Figuring out who you are. Yeah, were you, like, yeah. rapping and stuff? No. That's a Jersey that. phase, though. Yeah. Yeah. But that was big, the little, the shitty, like, under beer right here. Yeah. Soul patch? On the chin. Yeah. We just this. Well, the soul patch is, like, right here, um, below the lip. The oh, Fred Durst. Oh, oh. Yeah. Just the chin. Just the chin, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. That's nice. But that was cool for a minute, and the nerds started doing it. Really? Yeah, like like all the computer programmers started having that oh, facial hair. That makes sense, actually. I yeah. can visualize that. Yeah. yeah. Well, now the chin strap is just Dagestani MMA fighters. <laughs> yeah. They've really yeah, just the only taken that over. Have it is, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Khabib. And Wiggers yeah. really lost a battle on that one. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to. Yeah. <laughs> the chin strap wars? The Dagestanis are not going to They let lost it that. to fucking Zabit Magomed Shapiro. Yeah. Yeah, the fucking Muslim Russian. I think the word Wigger is so funny because it's so lazy. You yeah, know, you like look at a guy and you go, <laughs> <laughs> "What? How, what is that guy? <laughs> what is he? A white? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> it's like the it's literally the first draft of how you would describe <laughs> those people. That's true. Yeah. Is there Dude, another word for them? Mm, I don't know. I can't think of one. No, somebody has a bit. African American. <laughs> That's my buddy Kyle McNally. When I started comedy in Boston, one of the reasons we started hanging out because it was all like nerdy kids that yeah. I couldn't relate to. Yeah, mm. and then like we were just, I started barely meeting him, yeah. and there was a guy like a wiggery guy on stage, and I was like too afraid to say that around these kind of Portlandy yeah. type guys. Yeah, and he was like, "Dude, I think wig is making a comeback." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, "Man, yeah. let's hang out." <laughs> nice, like Luke Tuma. That was in Boston? Yeah. Oh. Dude, I think Wig isn't making a comeback. It's a bunch of new... It's it, so funny because that you have to have a lot of confidence to dress like that. But then to get on stage and be like, yeah, yeah so uh, my dog is mad funny, you know? <laughs> when my, like to, to do to, comedy. In, in the well, black voice as a white guy? You, you have to like be vulnerable to do comedy. Yeah, that makes sense. So it's, it's, like, it's funny when you see somebody like come into comedy who's from somewhere that requires you to be really confident. But they don't have the jokes, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and watching yeah. somebody be like, "Yeah, so I was fucking this girl the other night," you know? <laughs> and you're like, "What reaction did you expect?" <laughs> you think it's the people think you're cool club? Yeah, you know, yeah, it's comedy's all, so not that. Yeah. It's also yeah. blow my mind that those guys. I'm like, it's weird to do stand up and have no idea who you are. I'm like, yeah, it's yeah. just you and a microphone, and you're completely. You don't even know the first level of who you are as a person. Yeah. 
You know well, what I mean? mean yeah. like you're from like Western Mass. You're like, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> like, you're like a white <laughs> yeah, guy yeah, yeah, yeah. from like New right, Hampshire. Right, right, like, yeah. hey, right. You're just living a lie right. all the time. Yeah. Yeah, that makes right. sense. And then you're like, I'm going to talk to these people alone for 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an insane move <laughs> for a guy that's no idea who they are. You guys be eating Apple Jacks? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all have them motherfuckers? Yeah. yeah. True. Yeah, that was... They're making a... I think they're having a third wave. I think they are, yeah. <laughs> It's well, a third wave now. Yeah, they're having a third wave. Because wow. Travis Kelsey... Third wave. Yeah, Travis, Travis Kelsey, Kelsey, Matt Reif. Yeah. yeah. And whoever else. Yeah, yeah. that's the big two. But Jack big Harlow. Two. Jack yeah. Harlow. That guy stinks. Is he that... Is he... Would you classify him as that, though? I think he's the wiggeriest out of the three of them. Okay. Yeah. He's wigged out. Does Travis he talk Kelsey with the black be bad. He's... No, Jack Harlow's Jack Harlow. crazy black set. Okay. Jack Harlow's full, like... Yo. Hangs out with all black dudes, but then like in his songs, I've heard he's like, "I got five white boys coming to the party." It's mm-hmm. like he's like bragging that he's gonna gentrify your party, okay. <laughs> in, like, in, like the, the Uyghur voice. Uh-huh. Like, five Yo. white boys and they all look like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like we're gonna ruin your party. Yeah, because I feel like there's a difference though between like a Uyghur and like a guy who just hangs or hangs around black people. Those ones are well, yeah. You got to kind of check the ID. Yeah, you know, I want to know if they're legit. If it's like legit. somebody like Neil Brennan, I would say is not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a he just has black brains. Yeah, but he reverted back to white. A lot Maybe. of the guys go home. Mm, okay, the guys move back home. Sure, that makes in sense. their minds. You know, yeah, that makes like sense. Neil Brennan moved. You now mean, he's just like, yeah, you know. Because you know, he extracted all of their cultural capital. <laughs> 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 yeah. like he really ringed that rag yeah, 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 He's like, well, no more meat left on this bone. <laughs> I guess I'll do a podcast. <laughs> True. <laughs> I guess I'll go on NPR. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like watching him code switch. I saw him on this uh, this CNN like comedy documentary one time. And he was like, he goes, he literally it says in the documentary, he goes, People ask me how, how I'm friends with so many black people, and I, I just say that I just treat them like human beings. Who's ever asked him that? I'm, I know. <laughs> and that's, yeah. I'm like, that's crazy. This made it in the documentary? <laughs> that's great, Neil. Do you want a medal? Do you want a cookie? <laughs> that's that's awesome. so awesome that you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what a fucking worm. It's also like, you know the conversation's fake? Because it's like, so then the other guy, yeah. theoretically, hypothetically, the other guy goes, fuck, I should stop treating them like animals. Yeah, dude. I, yeah, yeah. I, right, I've been right. treating them oh, like thanks, dogs Neil, yeah. for years. Thanks, yeah. Neil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta, I've been treating them like dogs yeah, and cats. I've been super yeah. racist to them, and that hasn't been working. I'm like, how does nobody see this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but whatever. We, you know. No hard feelings or anything. Just, yeah. I'm just trying to make you guys laugh. No, You're that's funny, laugh. dude. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, have, I got no beef with Neil Brennan. Yeah, no, me neither. I, yeah. <laughs> never even met him. I have Probably no never will. Probably <laughs> <laughs> will never he work He was about him. to book you for... Uh, for what? Podcast. For his podcast? Yeah, his yeah. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> you don't go to LA. Do you go to LA a lot? I'm going uh, ne- uh, this month. Have I you been go. there in a while? I haven't been in a... I went with Tim for like two days. Yeah. It was fun. That's the best way to do LA is to do it with Tim Dillon. Really, mm-hmm. it is because you, yeah, because he, he just gets you into all the clubs and you do spot at like nine thirty. I just like staying at his house and going to his pool. I don't even do the spot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would be I just, awesome. I just go swimming. He sold the house, dude. I know, kind of a bummer. I heard that. Yeah, I'm you know, like telling you, him. Does he have a place out there? He, you know, he's gonna get another one sure. in three months. He yeah, says yeah, he's yeah. gone forever in three months. He's got bought a place in Santa Barbara. Uh-huh. It's right on the beach. Okay. Forty-eight million dollars. <laughs> like, okay, I thought you hated the state. You were never coming back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got seven pools. Yeah, nice, dude. yeah. You need. You can't have one pool. Like people at one pool, they're dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got two yeah. pools. Yeah. At least two pools. <laughs> you gonna do LA right? You need two, three pools. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah I just bring my family out there, and it's done. My wife doesn't know any better that you know. Yeah, she's just like happy to be there. Well, I'm happy to be there. Yeah, yeah. Autumn, like autumn. It's like my wife's never like. Why don't you have, you know? Oh, three, the house. You know, why don't you have three pools? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think yeah, Autumn gets it. I don't think she's questioning why I don't have three sure. pools. No, but I'm saying like, it's... but but getting to hang out with Tim is kind of the best way to to do it because yeah. you get the nice little place to stay. You yeah. know, great food. You get great food. You get to yeah. meet some people. Yeah. Yeah. He knows food and real estate, so you always stay in a badass yeah. house and yeah. eat great meals. Yeah, yeah, yeah Those yeah. are kind of his two areas of That's expertise. Funny. Yeah, besides comedy. Yeah, yeah. I, I met him like boys. way like before, like right before he was doing like really well, and I went to like because I opened for him in Tampa, and like then like went to meet him in like L.A. and I was trying to like work for him, maybe just like make videos for him and sure. stuff like that. 
And it was, it, yeah, <laughs> I stayed at my friend's house there, but it was funny. Like, he still took me out to, like, the nicest places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was still super nice. It was before he really was, like, huge. He was just like, yeah, we're going to the, right. we're gonna go to this seafood place. It's the best. No, no yeah, we would, like, bomb for no people at, like, the tiny room at Mohegan Sun, and they would hand him a check for, like, $1,100 for the entire week. And he's like, want to go get swordfish? <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, <laughs> yeah, really dude. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This was before he had a but Patreon. He was still on Gas Digital, and we went uh-huh. out, and he's like, I'm getting a seafood tower. You want some of the seafood tower? Like, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, yeah, that sounds yeah. amazing. <laughs> yeah, he always acted like he belonged there. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. And they knew him. They knew him at this nice sure. fan. They knew him at the seafood place. And, uh, You're probably like, I'm not good LA. at acting like you belong with the, with rich people. Successful. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Well, he always did that. I don't think I've ever done. Yeah. I've never like acted like Yeah, I, I never felt like I fit I in, really. I had yeah, just, but you just kind of, I don't know. Yeah. It's I, fine. I, yeah. I, had, I just opened for just, uh, Norman, too, when I met. And then, then Tim was like, where'd Norman take you out to eat? And yeah. I was like, Chipotle. He goes, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Check this. It's crab cakes. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I gave the, uh, there, there was a waitress that did the green room at, at Zany's the other night. And, um. I, I was like, how'd you do like with money? And she was like, ah, okay. I usually make more money here, but like it was a lot of single tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. She goes, so there was one big party, but yeah, it was a lot of like just single guys. So, uh, you know, not, not, not as well, but I had a nice time with my friends. And then I like, uh, she was telling me like she's a painter. So I got her Instagram and then I, I asked her for her Venmo and I sent her 50 bucks. She was like, oh, my God, thank you so much. No comedian's ever done that. Because she, like, took care of the groom and didn't make money. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, I said, sorry about the... That's the worst. No comedian's ever money. done that? No comedian's ever tips her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> this guy's ever sold out, like, 13 big. shows there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Zero yeah, dollars. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I always but, knew the, the waitresses and waiters hated getting the green room. Really? I, I remember at the Atlanta Improv, they would, like, dread it. Oh, like, really? Fuck, I got the fucking green room. Really? They, they'd rather get tables. They'd make way more money. Sure. Make oh, way I more didn't know money. that. Yeah, they make way more money doing tables. But it was nice to feel like a big shot. A oh, bit, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And it's not. <laughs> and 50 bucks is nice. 50 bucks to feel like a big shot is pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, sick, yeah. dude. Yeah. <laughs> you got to keep these poor people happy. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take a lot. No, but, the whole $50. Yeah. 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 Holy you gotta, shit. You got to keep the peasants happy. Yeah. Because then they'll tell the other peasants <laughs> that, you're, that, you're very, that you're very generous. That, I, lo- yeah. I love it. She's like, most of the comedians, they just come and they fuck me and you know, <laughs> no money. Yeah, don't, don't disrespect her like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I doubt it. I doubt it. You know? Yeah, she's probably never fucked She's probably comedian. never fucked a The comedian. green room yeah. waitress at the Zanies in Chicago <laughs> probably had sex with zero comedians. Yeah. Definitely probably after not. sex, she's like, the comedian's <laughs> never done that. <laughs> the comedian's never done this to me. This is, yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, dude. That is rule number one. It's like rule number one and two are don't fuck the weights up and then treat them well. You're talking about them like they're cattle. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't fuck well, obviously them? they can. Cons- well, obviously they choose if they want to f- uh, fuck you. I know, but you should. <laughs> if they want to fuck you, you should say no. It's not, it's not a Chinese buffet. <laughs> <laughs> they're human beings. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> They're not, they're not sweet and sour juice. What? Yeah. 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 All you I said is you shouldn't have sex with them. Wait, 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 wait. You're treating you adult to, women wait, like you could choose whether you want to fuck the white staff or not. Like, That's not really a choice for, <laughs> for for like me or Luke. No, maybe for Definitely you. Not Luke. Maybe for somebody like you. Yes, for you a know? stud like me. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm saying like even he's if, like I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta hold back my urges. I'm taking the high road. I'm just saying that's a general. I've heard this advice. What to not have sex with the white staff? Why? Because then if you'd like, if they become a scorned lover, then they'll like dislike mm-hmm. you, and then they'll tell management, like, that guy's a piece of shit. You do know. have to be pr- professional, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I used to, When I was single, I was real bad but, at that. And what? everybody I knew would fuck the waitresses, you, so I just thought it was... Normal? Yeah. yeah. I never got the advice. No, someone told me not to when I was a mm-hmm. young lad. It's yeah. so easy, though. <laughs> Is it easy? <laughs> Yeah, you never see. I feel like they're not as impressed. Yeah, my wife's a comedy club waitress. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Autumn was a comedy club waitress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, but you know, but she's living in this nice. Well, yeah, we it nice worked place. out. She's great. It worked out, yeah. But you yeah. definitely, bef- you but did I feel fuck like comedy club waitresses. Probably, I don't know, like maybe a handful. But I feel like they're not as impressed with comedy as you think they might be. That makes sense. I just think be less impressed than like yeah. someone in the audience. I, yeah, I don't think they care that much, but I think it's just an icebreaker and. You just spend four What's straight an days. The fact that you're doing stand up and they like have to talk together. to you, yeah, yeah, be, and then you spend four straight days with this person. Yeah, yeah but they don't want to be going to work, being like, "Oh, I fucked another comedian." <laughs> like, 
They'll I think work some at, of them don't give a shit. Chili's. Yeah, some of them probably don't care. Yeah. I don't know. But the girls yeah. at Chili's probably fuck the line cooks or... Yeah. True. You fuck the who you work with. manager. Yeah, it's, that's true. Do they fuck people at Chili's, you think? I, I, I worked at an ice cream shop and I used to bang this girl in the refrigerator. Inside of it? Yeah. Nice, dude. In fun. the freezer. No, they, we had a fridge before the freezer. Oh, I see, I see, I see. The freezer was too cold. We yeah, would have died. That'd be so cool if you had freezer sex. <laughs> I think that would have sucked. <laughs> it was crazy, actually just dude. an ice cream cake in the shape of a girl. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, <laughs> so that's a good act. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sticking my dick into a Choco Taco. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I met my first girl oh, from the Carmel. It <laughs> was Cookie Puss. <laughs> it's Fudgy the Whale, dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're just coming inside of him. <laughs> yeah. That'd be nice, dude, to have a baked Alaska. Yeah, but comedy club wages, like, they work there. So yeah. they, you know, they seek, they're not as impressed with comedy. No, as, I like, an audience so. member. Yeah. No, yeah. I definitely think I so. Think. Yeah. Especially, like, the worst is, like, uh, bars or, like, coffee shops that have comedy there they fucking hate the comedians sure that's like the vibe I always get like oh god I have to go to, I have to work the like comedy club alt right yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah they annoy the shit out of me while yeah. I'm just trying to make a macchiato they're like I just want to have my nose ring in yeah or whatever they say yeah that's what they say I yeah. just want to go by they them and yeah. have my, no, or my so nose I've, ring I've been on I've been on the road and then like at a bar in the city or the town mm-hmm. and I just don't tell the waiter or waitress that I'm a comedian or the bartender or whatever I'm just like yeah. having a drink and they're like oh god it's Wednesday and I'm like oh yeah what's wrong with Wednesdays and they're like, it's fucking open mic comedy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, what a bunch of pieces of shit. Yeah, what a bunch of losers. Fucking losers. Do you guys lie to uh, people ask you what you do ever? No. Because now I'm I'm able to say I'm a comedian. Yeah. That's but true. like a few months ago, <laughs> I might have said I'm a mover. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. Or like, like an Uber driver, like you're Ubering to a show or something or whatever. And they're like, what are you doing? I'm yeah. like, oh, nothing. Sometimes I'll I say lie I'm a comedian. I... I go, I'm a comedian, but then then you're like, here we go, all the you know, all yeah. the questions. I know, I don't want the questions. I just yeah. lie. I just I'll lie, lie if I know the guy. If they're impressed by it, it's kind of cool. It is, but then sometimes I don't like that because I'm like, this is going to lead to a really long conversation that's going to involve a lot of questions, and I'm kind of like stressed out already right now. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. even like, want to know the kid. Person. If I know the guy probably likes comedy, like if he's like mm. a 24 year old bro, I'm like, yeah. he for sure watches fucking Kill Tony or whatever. I'm yeah. like, yeah, I don't. He's like, what do you do? I'm like, I just uh, did work in uh, marketing. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just make up something. I'd be like, I said I was an event coordinator. That's yeah. good. That's I what like I'm that. saying, event coordinator. Oh, and they're okay. like, why are you going to this comedy club? I'm like, ah, I'm like playing in the event. There's an event there. It's an event space. Okay. <laughs> well, in Austin, everyone's so fucking obsessed with comedy. Every yeah, yeah, Every driver's yeah. like, why are you going to the Sunset Strip? Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, oh, he's like, you doing a show there? I'm like, fuck. Yeah, this is what, that's what happened. And then I just lied. There was a lady who they drove me. love comedy. There was really? a lady driving me to a club in Austin. I just lied. I was like, yeah, I'm just going to the, see the show. She's like, yeah, I used to like to go there. And then someone got thrown through a window next door. And she told me the story about it. And they landed on my brother. <laughs> There's glass everywhere. I don't go there anymore. And I was like, oh, no, that sounds terrible. So I have a question for you guys. So you guys are moving there. Yeah, yeah we're moving in May. Austin. Yeah. In May. In May, yeah. Okay. You're having uh-huh. a little going away party. I mean, everybody's going there. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Like. So how do you... What is the best case scenario? Like, if like, how do you how do you see it going, and ha- how how would that be different from Here? New York? Yeah, um, I think it's the opportunities can come quicker mm-hmm. because there's there's so many people here, and it just mm-hmm. takes a really long time to get into the clubs. So like, you get a, you meet a you big, feel like you'll be performing more, definitely you'll be performing, be performing more, more, and then I feel like you know you uh, you do stand up and uh, you meet a big comedian sees your uh, set and he's like you're funny you want to come on my podcast you want to open mm-hmm. hey and then you ask him you want to come on my podcast yada 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 that's what some of the bigger guys are and yeah. it's just easy. It, that takes less time there yeah. I think than here yeah. and it's like a third okay. of the price okay. and I yeah. feel like you do more stand up I like the crowds more mm-hmm. I just feel like whatever you like the crowds more we yeah. definitely yeah we talked about yeah, yeah. these young chicks I don't love New York crowds they no suck. I don't like them yeah. they're kind of the worst yeah, yeah. They're like a lot my of them least... really suck, especially Manhattan. It's pretty brutal. Yeah, it's yeah. really if you just go to Stress Factory, like that's mm-hmm. like forty minutes away. Yeah, yeah, and they're yeah. way better. better yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. New York, it's like I, what I... is it? They're kind of like 
I don't know. They're too uppity. rich and young. They're extremely rich, and young, and white. rich young white girls. Yeah. That's what Adam Gilbert was saying. The he goes, East Village crowds are cursed. They're like too rich and too young. Yeah, they suck. Yeah. Yeah, no, they're... Well, they're, they're Matt Rife's crowd. Yeah. They're literally like his right. audience. Right. I'm like, this yeah, is... Yeah, they're like giddy little white girls. Like, I don't know. The, the stuff that works for them, i just like, Jesus Christ. Like, I couldn't do it. Like, I've it's seen the people point killing where in these rooms. I'm like, I can't do that. No, to the you point where I'm like... Yeah, yeah, literally, literally. How y'all two meet? <laughs> <laughs> y'all fucking? Y'all fucking? Yeah. Y'all tell me y'all not fucking. <laughs> you wearing that yeah. jacket out and you ain't fucking? Oh, so she ain't putting out yet? <laughs> she suck your dick? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't sucking that shit? Yeah. No, you, I'll, I'll do shows in New York where I'm like, the the soft, what I thought was the, the uh, soft foreplay stuff. joke is yeah. bombing because yeah, they're, they're freaked like, out. Oh, and I'm like, God. you're going to hate this next one so much. Yeah, yeah, no, like, yeah, I'm yeah. like, I just want to get off now. Yeah. Like, can I just get off at four minutes? Just leave. Yeah. But then sometimes you'll do a show with like more like native New Yorkers in the crowd. And it's really fun. It's yeah. rare. But every once in a while, like, right. I was at the stand the other night and it was like less, less white. Yeah. Yes. And it was much more fun. I have a theory about this. You need wow. either like a table of. There's like four demos that you need at least one big table of for the show not to suck in New York. Okay. Frat bros, like blue collar, salt of the earth, New York guy, bridge and tunnel guys, mm-hmm. black people or Puerto Ricans. Okay. If you have yeah. one, at least one big table of them mm. and they're not in the very back, yeah. if they're first, second, third row, yeah. Yeah, I nice. think you're kind of in the clear. Yeah. But sometimes you go up on stage and it's like, oh, it's sold out. It's Friday night. It's just a sea of like leather jackets and slick blonde hair. I'm oh, like, this yeah, is a yeah, nightmare. It yeah. sucks, dude. Like my... Gut goes down when I see them. Like, yeah, it's like seeing the enemy it. come to shore. Yeah, like, <laughs> <this> is, <laughs> yeah it's kind of brutal. Whereas, yeah, and Austin's just like more. I guess it's just more male. Honestly, it's like different, but there's such a big market for that. Like for like girls who talk about dating. Yeah, they they're make the most huge, money. They make the most. Yeah, money. sell the most tickets. That's how you they really sell the most tickets for yeah. sure. You're definitely gonna go buy tickets. The girls are all going out. It's like you said, like the single ticket thing. It's just like you tell me, yeah. hinged and pizza. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they go ape shit. Yeah. It, oh my god, I mind. love pizza. Yeah. I just can't stop eating pizza. Yeah, yeah. They go fucking nuts. Yeah, it's like crazy. It's like it's not for me, but. How many videos do you see where the girls like got her ear her earpiece in? And she's like, so I went on a date with this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's the and worst. You go, yeah. You go, yeah. all right, somebody's into this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess someone cares about this a lot. Yeah, the little... The this little. isn't really stand-up comedy, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. but, you know. <laughs> Hate to tell you, that's not art. But yeah. you make a, you make $200,000 a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess you can stuff. come to a spot. <laughs> yeah. Tim made a good point about why the young girls like the crowd work, because he was like, it's about makes it about them. Yeah, sure. Now it's about them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, women love when it's about them. Right. Yeah. Like, especially a young girl, they just want to talk about themselves. I think yeah. that's... And their yeah. mundane lives. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. like if you're doing crowd work, you're literally giving them a platform to do that mm-hmm. in front of a crowd. That's like their dream. Mm-hmm. Right. They want to be, be asked the about show. their dating life in front of a group of people and then mm-hmm. be forced to talk about it ad nauseum. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If they're listening to someone... Like, if you're listening to someone talk about something, you have to actually understand what that thing is i feel like they just don't they have think about how much a young girl wants to hear herself talk about dating her yeah. dating and sex life more than she wants to hear about like my take on p diddy right? yeah 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 yeah. it's a chasm yeah of you're difference. trying to talk about fucking yeah. dwight howard <laughs> yeah they have no idea who that person no. is yeah 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 you might as well speak in chinese dude right yes yeah, so we're heading south dude <laughs> yeah so we're, we're going out texas way right well yeah. i guess i guess new york's for the girls and austin's for the boys yeah it kind of feels that way <laughs> really it, it is kind of gendered that way yeah I feel, a little bit because i'm not sure i should go down there for a little bit just to see you should come you know, by you know what it's like yeah would you ever move out of new york to stay i i don't see that happening because it's like i just have you know my wife's family is here yeah <laughs> so yeah but you know my family's here and it's just i don't know i i, I and i also really like it yeah, I remember yeah. one time I asked I you. I can't like, just pick up and leave, you know? No, right. for sure. What if no, I hate no. it? And then, then I move oh, my family that sucks. down there. Yeah, for I now. can't imagine. Yeah. <laughs> that is really I'm having awful. that anxiety now. <laughs> yeah. Like, I've liked it. I've liked all the visits. All my friends are there, but there is still, like, the creeping feeling. I'm like, what if it's really Because what horrible? if you get down there and you go, this is a oh, mistake? Shit, no. You can always like, come back, though. I could always come back, but I imagine, but, I'm keep imagining the graduate, like, the end of the graduate. You know, I'm mm-hmm. like, finally, I'm getting out of here. Well, here we go. And then I'm like, oh, no. Yeah. Where am I? What have I done? But you got to do that move while you can. Yeah. You haven't just like, I've accepted. I'll be here eating $17 bagels. (laughs) (laughs) Like I miss my $7 coffees, my $26 Mm -hmm. bagels. Mm -hmm. That's what I really want. You told me that. Where I live isn't like that though. Sunnyside's like, great. Like my neighborhood oh, yeah. is awesome, but it's I affordable. can't really be there. It's Every more time affordable. I leave my house, I get molested. I feel like I get molested. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the worst. <laughs> Every time I go to city. Walgreens, oh yeah, my god, I get fucked in the ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I'm like, I'm here for pens. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, I bought. Yeah, I bought. I remember buying. Like, I'm just. Snacks. I just get ripped off left and right. Yeah, dude. I yeah. bought. Dude, I, I bought snacks in Austin. I remember buying like this big bag of chips for like two ninety nine, nice. and then I saw the same brand of bag of chips here was six ninety nine, and I was like, "Go fuck yourself!" I was yeah. like, literally angry. I, I, like, I wrote a one star day, Google review the other day because they charged me th- three dollars for a small bag of chips. Yeah, I just photographed and I said three dollars for a small bag of chips. <laughs> yeah. That was the whole dude, review. You're going on reviews, dude. Yeah, yeah. You're going on Google reviews <laughs> for what? For like a what? For like a sandwich place? Well, or and then shut. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a bagel place, and yeah. the other bagel place. It's like a bagel of cream cheese is uh, six seventy four. I mean, good God. I got a on seven dollars. Yeah. I got a I got a seltzer at a bodega the other day that was like three eighty. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude. I get, I I mean, get this diet, is crazy. Yeah, I got a diet coke. Like a hundred people just turned the show off. By the way, <laughs> 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 New York guys talking about what <laughs> what seltzer costs. You know how it's seltzer Fuck is this. now. Yeah, Manhattan yeah. seltzer is yeah, four dollars. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, price yeah. of bagels <laughs> is just you can't keep up with it. It's I mean, like, who do they expect to pay these prices? Fuck yeah. this shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 look at these fucking New York. Honey, turn this off. They're being gay about New York again. Yeah. Yeah, no. Well, you, I, with Texas, though, I've just accepted that it's shittier than New York as a city. Mm-hmm. And but I'm gonna. My friends are there. It's cheaper. And right. Stand up's better. But that's almost yeah. that's such a moot point to me because everything that's awesome here is expensive. So I'm like, I think I'll live just as well, if not better. And you, know you don't. You say you don't do any expensive stuff. Well, yeah, here, like, what am I gonna do? Go to like crazy nice restaurants? But, like, I know. But what about like? It, but isn't? But it's just a shittier place. In what, like, it, by what dimensions? It's like, okay, th- there's, like, less stuff to do, but even that's not even that true. It's like... I think know, there's what? less stuff to do. There's like zero what, pro... concerts? What do, what do people even do? Well, there's zero that's pro... That's what I'm saying. What, what do people, people even, do? even do? There's zero pro sports teams there, and there's oh, seven I mean, in... Yeah. Seven here, and then eight with How the often Islanders? do you even go? I mean, I, I guess I, I like going to museums to once a year. Yeah, that's what I mean. I go to. I, go to I like Met. taking my little walks. Yeah. I like, I like going little, to the promenade. Your little walks are gone. In sure. Texas are That's kind of huge. Mm, it is. But Walking we along to, the Brooklyn but Promenade. Also, I went to like a oh, nature really? trail. I went to like it was ten minutes out of the city. There's because like that it's like that makes you feel trail. that makes you feel like right, right, right. Like there was real nature. There's this beautiful flowing nice. river, and it had they had like a beautiful garden up you front. Can't go to Prospect were, Park, motherfucker. Yeah, I don't want to go to fucking Prospect Park. <laughs> <laughs> we get him going. Yeah. You ever go to Forest Park in Queens? Uh, uh-uh. oh, that's, that's great. Nice. Yeah, I should go. Great, Forest yeah. Park is a good golf course too. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. You should go before you leave. Okay, I'll go. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, trying to think. I'm trying to do like the, a New York like checklist nature so I just think I do. I also i I don't know. I think it's shittier. I also think the the casual food I like better here. That's okay. true. I don't want to eat tacos and no. The food is the food is better here. Tacos. The food is. Better I'm already here. sick of them. Just but I know. Two weeks. I know. I'm yeah. so. I don't have enough money to go. Like I shouldn't be eating out in the first place. I shouldn't be eating out in Austin. I shouldn't be eating. And it will be yeah. easier to go. And the grocery stores are so much better in Austin. A million times better, uh, dude. It's yeah. like there's just one, bigger a brand H E B. It's like the size. It's like a city block. Mm-hmm. They have everything you could possibly want, and it's impossibly expensive yeah or inexpensive In, okay. it's like, well, like it's so cheap for food so like that's we, nice me and him we bought we were there for two weeks we bought like a week's or so worth of groceries yeah it was 130 dollars yeah. for both of us right we bought a bunch of shit that's nice and we were like had a loaded fridge for like but one and a half weeks on like but a it, sunny sunday here I, mm-hmm. i'll like get a city bike and ride it over the brooklyn bridge down through brooklyn heights yeah and oh, then nice. into red hook and then i'll Get a cup of coffee and walk around little cobblestone streets, and then yeah, get a yeah. beer at like Sunny's or Strong Road. Like I feel like, yeah, you feel rich. Yeah, you just and it's set, just like nice. You feel like yeah. you're a it's part aesthetically of, yeah. nice. I mean, yeah, also yeah, it's pretty yeah. ugly. Ugly, yeah, it is. I think parts of it are kind of dingy. I agree, but I'm just saying, like, well, that's also like downtown is like gross. Like it's like you know, it's like uh, see, I don't like where cities everyone like gets that. I don't like those party cities like Nashville. Yeah, it's kind of a party. City. You know, every southern loud. city is like that. It's yeah. insane. But yeah. I like to get out of the city. I want to see like a fucking tree. I want to like a bike path. You know what I mean? No, I'm psyched like, for my house. I'm living in a house. That's what I'm psyched about. That's where I spend 80% There's of my so time much. anyway. It's like, yeah, yeah. what am I going to do? What am I going to walk around? Like, I mean, I like my neighborhood. It's like beautiful and idyllic and all that stuff, but I'm like, Mm. Whatever, I'll be near a park by car. I'll just drive ten minutes to the park. Like it's no big deal. I also yeah. like a car and then the ability like, to have a car. Okay, so I'm gonna like get in a I truck. Have a car. Yeah, but it's not the same, dude. I mean, it's like parking in my own driveway. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I drive everywhere. I'm with you on that. Everywhere is 10, 15 minutes for me. That's the other I thing. It's in, not like L.A. L.A. Sunnyside, when you wanna... it takes me forty five minutes to get here. I come here like twice a week. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. I do kind of like walking around Fide because you f- you feel powerful. Yeah, you do yeah, feel powerful. You know? It's true. Yeah, yeah. I never got a feeling Tesla walking Lola. around anywhere in Austin. You never don't get a feeling. 
Okay. Like that feeling in New York. Mm-hmm. You, you get, like you walk around like yeah. the Upper West Side. You walk right. like down Central Park West. No, I'm not yeah. disagreeing. The architecture yeah. is beautiful. Like the city itself is beautiful. But for my personal life, I feel like it won't be like a marked, huge marked difference. You yeah. Because I was with Tim in Austin and we did go to look at a house that he was considering buying. And it was like this massive, this like massive house. Yeah, it's like a mansion. You like walked it and I'm like, what would you even do with all this yeah. space? Yeah, yeah. I'm, sure I, yeah. I'm sure he's he'll find. He'd figure it out. He'll figure it out. But, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, he takes up like two thousand square feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying though, if you're not a homebody, it's good. It's nice to be here. Yeah, yeah. No, but I am more a homebody, I guess. But I'm getting to a point now. I'm like, I wish my kid had like a playroom or something. Yes, he's got like this much space to play with his toys. Mm-hmm. No, I'd rather have a yeah, he's, dude. Having I a, want yard, a backyard and a dog, and a kid mm-hmm. to run around. I'm getting a backyard, yeah. a dog, and a truck. Like the the moment I get there, I'm like. Okay. This is so sick. Do you have the truck yet? Uh, it's my uncle's. He's just gonna oh. his old truck. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Toyota Tacoma. If you had money, you would live here. 2016 Toyota Tacoma. If you had a shitload of money, would you live here? It's tough to say, dude. I mean, I don't know. Hopefully, I have to make that decision one day. But <laughs> who knows? Like, like, if you had like twenty million dollars, where would you live? I think I would just have places. I everywhere. would have four houses in the tri-state area. <laughs> yeah, <it> literally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Racine's like North Jersey, literally. Manhattan, no, Long literally. Island. I'd be like uh, Adam Sandler awesome. in Uncut Gems. I'd have like a mansion in Jersey. Yeah. I'd have my little apartment in the city. That'd yeah, be awesome. to you know sleep over when I'm working. Yeah, I do. Like I'm gonna stay in the city tonight. Like a fucking nice place in North Jersey. Yeah, that'd the be the awesome. Catskills and the, and the Jersey Shore. That'd be sick. That's as hell. it. That'd be so sick. I mean, I'll never go to California but also ever like, again. But everybody always stays in the city when they do that. They don't do go they? to the house that much. That makes sense. Mm. I know a few people that do that, and they just like yeah, Kevin Ryan city. bought this sick house like in PA or something near Jersey, yeah. and he was like showing me it, and I was like, "This is amazing." He's like, "Yeah, we're keeping our apartment uh-huh. just so we have like a place in New York." Then I saw him like three months later. I'm like, "How's the house?" He's like, "I'm just in New York." All yeah, that's true. But the like, he's like living. Really? And wor- he like works here though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, and it he really works in the city. But people have big houses. They're like, I don't use any of this. You know? Yeah. Yeah. De Stefano has, he said he's got a big house and he uses like half of it. Yeah. Yeah. True. Uh, yeah. Shane told me he occupies the same amount of space in his Austin house as he did in his I, Queens apartment. I'll bet. I'll bet. Yeah. He was yeah. like, I just go to the living room, play video games, and go back to my room. And they're That's right so next to each other. He's like, I occupy like 400 square feet yeah. of this mansion. Yeah. Crazy. I don't know. It'll be nice to have space, I think, though. But yeah, even, I would like Because more- I live in such a small place now that it's like, you know, between my room and the living room is very small. I'd like mm-hmm. that to be bigger. <laughs> mm-hmm. Literally, both things to be bigger <laughs> would be that. And a backyard, dude. I'll use the shit out of a backyard. Yeah, I'll be sitting yeah. out there every fucking night. It is funny to think about your. What's son Kevin Ryan's it? address? We should, <laughs> <laughs> we should go squat, <laughs> dude. We gotta go squat at Kevin Ryan's <laughs> house. Squat at Kevin Ryan. <laughs> That's a great idea. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> We're posting TikToks. Like, yeah, yeah. All you gotta do is find a comedian. <laughs> Yo, bro. <laughs> squat hat. Yo, anybody coming over the border? All you gotta do is find a comedian. All right. With three all right. Properties. Who's a podcaster with too much money? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so Am funny. I garbage? Yeah, I'm garbage. I'm squatting at your fucking house. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. He's like, like oh, you're on TikTok. Like, all the Mexicans out there. Andrew Santino. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Dude, I would squat in Kevin Ryan's house and I would get like a tuxedo and just wear that around and smoke a pipe <laughs> and just like <laughs> just make it pretend you're, really your, you're your own butler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Put a butler suit on my dog. <laughs> get a Shit chimpanzee. Him in, fetch me a beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Steal the cash that's hidden in his house because you know he has it. He definitely does. Oh, Buy definitely. a chimpanzee. He's like a put coffee him. can in the backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah for, for sure. sure. He's got a couple piggy banks. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Put the chimpanzee in a suit. Make the chimpanzee <laughs> be my butler. <laughs> but bubbles, come and suck my cock, bubbles, please. Uh, Mr. Ryan, you know I'm a tenant here. <laughs> <laughs> I have rights, Mr. Ryan. <laughs> He's like, dude, you got to get the chimp out of here. You're like, racist, I see. <laughs> <laughs> He's employed by me. <laughs> <laughs> you mean my butler, Bubbles? Yeah. He's a working man. <laughs> yeah. I abide by the working class. This is my employee. He's paid $6 an hour. <laughs> <laughs> In, in bananas and mango treats. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Grab his ass. Awesome. Dude, <laughs> totally smacking the chimp's squat. ass when he walks if away. I, if you guys do it, I'll do it. We'll Let's we'll do it. Kevin, what part of town is that house? Yeah, that you, that would be a great, like, it, that could be our us as YouTubers. Yeah. yeah. We could vlog ourselves squatting. Yeah, we're called, like, mm. yeah, squat bros. Comedian's yeah. houses. Yeah. yeah. 
Dude, comedians you know, in other comedians' houses. Dude, there's guys that are so, but you know, Joe Coy's got to have some mega oh, mansion, definitely. some empty mansion in like Nevada, had, yeah. for sure, for sure, a hundred percent. Yeah, we could squat a few of us in some of these guys' houses. We could, yeah, we could a have crew. comedians all over the place squatting. Yeah, yeah, we could all have a whole <laughs> legion of squatters. <laughs> We're doing an open mic in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It could be like a hobo network, you know. Well, we get them to take over, because it was our idea, so we get them to take other people's properties, and we mm-hmm. kind of own it, but they, they occupy it. They sort of work for us. It's like a pyramid scheme. Yeah, 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 yeah. that makes yeah. sense. And yeah. then when they find out about one, we can just shift to the others. Yeah. It could be sort of like a, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like a definitely. dynamic yeah. thing. And they'll steal beers out of the fridge, and mm-hmm. then they got to kick some beers back up to us. We'll have mm-hmm. Tim Dillon over and be like, Tim, thanks for the hospitality. <laughs> <laughs> we want to return the favor. Yeah. yeah. You can, this is Kevin Ryan's house. Tim, welcome to Kevin Ryan's. <laughs> <laughs> Casa de la <laughs> Shay. Tim, would you like my butler to refill your club soda? <laughs> That's what we call him bubbles. <laughs> you like calling back to New York. Like, Dude, I squatted in Bobby Lee's house. He didn't notice me for like two and a half months. <laughs> like, he was there the whole time. Dude, I mean, Racine's got a monkey. It's great. Wait, yeah. didn't, didn't this happen I mean, these to guys, Theo Vaughn? These comedians, these, it's dark. I mean, I these... swear I heard this <laughs> happen to Theo Vaughn. What? That he had like a squatter in his house. Like he came oh, yeah. home and there was like a guy there. Great. I don't know yeah. if that's true. Maybe it was just something that I believed Theo it just Vaughn. Feels, this insane. feels kind of like, this whole thing feels kind of made up though, you know? What? what? Like nobody's getting squatters unless they have abandoned properties, I feel like. Um, they're I trying to be squatted for a while. Yeah, but he got where? In, where in a family's house? No, yeah, it was right. in a, a dilapidated place in Manhattan. Sure, and then he got caught, and he okay. had to leave. And it was funny too. All right, but he had a had a little, you know, he had his time, free rent for a little. But bit. what I feel bad for him is he like fixed the place up. He like made it nice. He's like a really yeah. handy guy. <laughs> you feel bad for him. I he feel put, bad for he me. put up a Pearl Jam poster. Yeah, dude, he had all his cool. He put up a Bob Marley poster <laughs> on the wall. He put all his cool lava lamps <laughs> in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he took all his empty liquor bottles and hung them up on the on the shelf. <laughs> You're like, he really fixed up the place. He's just a lawn chair and a PS4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. He's fucking. That's peak male living, dude. He's squatting. And okay, okay. Can, can I get my lava lamp, please? Please. Okay, <laughs> sure. I understand it wasn't my home, but that's yeah. my lava lamp. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I had like four Funko Pops like, in there. But he made the, the plumbing didn't work. He did fix the plumbing. Great. He made it so he could do his shit in there. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that specifically. Oh, you said he fixed it up? Yeah, it was, he fixed it. He made it so he could shit in the place yeah, he, could he shit was squatting in. Yeah. He's like, you're welcome. <laughs> dude, literally, <laughs> imagine you have a squatter. Imagine you kick out a squatter. You're like, oh, shit, that toilet works now. Yeah, that's, yeah. That was dude, nice. I was... But people are acting like these squatters are coming into like the house that you share with your kids. Well, it's but like, I think most of the time, it's their renters, and they refuse to leave. Yeah. Good. I don't care. shit. Your landlord is going to fuck you. Might as well fuck him back. Your a landlord bit. is gonna as as even if you have like a nice landlord, yeah. which you know I kind of have right now. I've I've been fucked over by so many nice landlords. Yeah, that I just feel like I don't know squat. Yeah. See what I you had, can get. See landlords what, always see suck what the liberal exactly. See what the liberal New York City housing laws can can do for you. Because uh, yeah. they usually skew towards the renter. Yeah, but don't you? I've always thought of like. <laughs> Like if if you owned a place and people were renting yeah. and they refused to leave, mm-hmm. like how did it go for a year? Like, why wouldn't you just walk in there with like a gun? Because it's illegal. But it's a is that illegal? Because you'll go to jail. But but it's for your home. But, but you own the home. If you walk into your but own house they, with a registered firearm and go get out, yeah. is that illegal? Get um, out of my house. If they're like a tenant, yeah, it has to be like because only a court can do an eviction. You guys are also forgetting that, like, these people probably, these people paid your mortgage for, you know, however many months. So it's yeah. like they're giving you equity. So, like, uh, uh, the, le- the relationship between landlord tenant is inherently parasitic because you're working, you're paying their mortgage, and then they get, they keep the value of the, the property. So you're helping yeah. them pay off their mortgage. You should get equity in that, in that property. If, I, I, if I'm paying rent for two years to a guy and I paid $80,000 over the course of two years, how much equity do you think I should get? Yeah, but in isn't that place? the argument? I'm there totally. That you could, I'm not with you on this at all. But 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 the, that's the trade off <laughs> though. Is you get to live in a nicer place because you get rent prices. <laughs> you can't just pay. You can't just start paying rent a guy prices, rent, what are, what? and then you pay, start paying a guy rent. That's and the you, idea. You own part of the building. No fucking way. That's good. Own, that's that's a good co op. Well, what do you just flush money down the toilet? Yeah, because that's, that's what rent. Is. That's the price of but rent. But because this asshole had had money for a down payment on a place in, in 2004, right? It's but, like okay, but. You're you're get, he's getting rich off of your labor. That's true. I'm I'm out on this. You should you should get at least you should save your twenty thousand in equity. <laughs> <laughs> I, I you I, should you should have a, a little bit of equity when you pay rent. 
I don't like this. No, it's no, completely. No. But but it, the it's it's totally skewed. I mean, that's why the laws are more skewed towards the tenant because that the landlord tenant relationship is inherently like. Yeah, like I said, parasitic. I don't know. If I love how you started with like, you're like, are there really squatters? And then like 50 minutes later, you're like, I pay rent for three years. I fucking own your house. <laughs> it's but fine it, now. I, I get what you're well, saying, but don't you think that like, okay, so you imagine you are a landlord, right? You have to pay multiple mortgages. Let's get into it, boys. Yeah, I'm just let's curious. I'm just it. curious what let's you think. I haven't really it. thought about this that hard. I don't have like right. a strong opinion. Okay. But I'm saying like, if you're a landlord yeah. and you own two homes, yeah. right? You're paying off one yeah. and you own the other. Yeah. Or in... Uh, so, or you, you have to have paid two mortgages or are paying two mortgages. Mm-hmm. So if your renter pays a portion of the other mortgage and then by the end okay. you get equity, it's like that's the trade off. Let me stop you right there. It's typically not a portion of the mortgage. Like a lot of times the rent will be more than the mortgage. So which like some people say that in itself should be illegal because you're making a profit off yeah. of, you know, like if your mortgage is $2,000 a month and the tenant, listen, let me finish. And the tenant. No, it's not ridiculous. No, that's a good point. Do you pay rent here? Yes. Okay. I No part of me thinks I should own this place unless that's I not, buy it from him. But that's not the point, though. But essentially, you are buying it for him. But they're, uh, they're capitalizing on your need of somewhere to live. Yeah, that's right? true. So, like, okay. So, so I, I mean, I'll give you, like, a personal example. Like, my – when my uh, – when I was priced out of my place a couple years ago, uh-huh. I was talking to another – uh, you know, we were renting a condo from, like, the one family that owned the condo. So another guy in the building who I was friendly with was like, well, if they bought – if they're the original owners, I mean, they only paid, like, $400,000 for the place in uh, in 2004 or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Um, so so now that place is worth, like, obviously over a million dollars, the two-bedroom condo in, in Carroll Gardens. Mm-hmm. So, like, over the course of 20 years, they made, they, they made $600,000 in equity right. off, the, off the property. Yeah. But then also, like – Maybe their mortgage is paid off. Maybe it, maybe it isn't. But if his mortgage, let's say he's still paying his mortgage. Right. If his mortgage is, you know, three thousand dollars a month, which it's not because he bought right. the fucking place in two thousand four. If his mortgage is, is, let's say his mortgage is twenty five hundred a, m- a month, and I'm paying him three thousand. Yeah. Then he's getting five hundred dollars and the equity of the home. And the equity of the home. Yeah. So over the course of two years, it's like, so the only reason I don't own properties is because I can't afford, I don't have the money for a down payment mm. because I work for my fucking cocksucking <laughs> money because I bust my ass to yeah. give to these, you know, to give to these parasites. Can I rebuttal? Yeah, yeah. If you moved to Tulsa, yeah. Oklahoma, and just did the road from Oklahoma, you could buy a house. You want to live in Brooklyn Heights. Mm-hmm. If yeah. you lived in Oklahoma and you flew How out- How would I do the road, though, without, like, the podcast and stuff? Wait, but that's not even like really relevant. We're talking about what's right and wrong here. Yeah, but this, the, these, these saying, problems like, don't exist people, in Fargo, North Dakota. They do. They, they don't, you, don't think way lower. you don't think there's poor people? Yeah, there's right, right. It's, in Fargo, it's scale, it scales down. Sure, yeah. but not, it's way it's not worse as wide. It's way worse here. Okay, for fine. But for a guy who makes... You know, there's they're not so everybody in Fargo, North Dakota owns a home. They, they, they rent trailers from other parasites who are like... They yeah. don't. No, they don't all have as own much a home. Money as but for you personally, me. you're using yourself as an, ex- an example. Yeah, yeah. If you didn't live in Brooklyn Heights, there are plenty of places you could own. Like where though? There would be have to be bad parts of the country. Yeah, but not right now. Yeah, they would have to be places. You could you own a place, but in you don't Central make Jersey. as much money. But how much money would I make living in Oklahoma? Okay, what if you lived in Central Jersey? You could you could own like a two bed or like a three bedroom. I don't think so. I think if you look at I think if you look at housing prices, it's pretty. It's pretty high. I don't First think you time find, home buyer. You don't for, find anything less for less than like four hundred thousand. So okay, let's say you find one for four hundred thousand. Well, I don't have eighty thousand dollars for a down payment. That's that's a good down payment. Crypto. First time home buyer, you could put down like five percent. Really? Yeah. So you could put down twenty grand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can save up twenty grand, and okay. then your your month to month mortgage payment is mm-hmm. probably less than what you pay in rent in Brooklyn Heights, mm-hmm. and you could drive into the city and do spots whenever you need to. Mm-hmm. So you could own places in the tri-state area. Mm-hmm. But you don't because you want to live in Brooklyn Heights. But that doesn't mean that you should get equity in the guy who owns the townhouse in Brooklyn Heights. He, But I'm paying his, his mortgage. I understand that, but he owns the property. So? This is also your theory is based in we completely get rid of real estate in like as a market entirely. Like, there's no more real estate market. No, it wouldn't get yeah. rid of it. It would just make less money. There'd be less profit. Yeah, I don't know. It would just be like because when then he you sells start the doing home, the math. I paid X percent of the mortgage. You start I doing get X the math. percent of the equity. And I don't this see fucking the issue this it. fucking cocksucker took my security deposit, by the way. But you start doing the math, and you're <laughs> that like, I'm pro tenant on. Sure, 
they, they, security deposits are ridiculous inherently. Yeah, they yeah, really yeah. Jew you over on the security deposit. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, I saw a video today they, of a, a Jewish landlord, a Hasidic Jewish landlord, and a guy's like confronting him, and he's like, I have no hot water. Are you going to do anything about it? The Jewish guy goes, no, I'm not. I'm not. And he goes, yeah. so you know I haven't had hot water for three months, and you're not going to fix anything? I'm not. Yeah. And he goes, I pay twenty three hundred dollars a month. Do you think this guy goes twenty three thirty five, and then he leaves? Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was crazy. I mean, that's the stuff that'll yeah drive you crazy. It might, you might. So might I'm just saying, how about we start? Direction. How about we start with twenty percent equity in the? I don't see. You should, I I understand. Where so you're then you start from. you start doing the math, and you're like, okay, so over the course of two years, my wife and I paid this guy almost eighty thousand dollars to live here for two years, and like, what do we get? He gets his mortgage paid off, and he gets to like send his kids to college. You got to live in your favorite so. neighborhood. So, but what do you mean? So, yeah, but like, but like, <laughs> I could say anywhere. No, but you have to rent everywhere. There are there are renters everywhere. Yeah, yeah. but there are also places where you could afford homes. And this not this line homes. of logic stops at a certain. I don't point. think you have to understand like it stops at a certain point where you go. I'm in a certain level but of you're neighborhood, right. okay. and if I if if you're saying to the renter, just live in a worse place, like yeah. that has to stop somewhere. All right, so and it has to go from. Okay, well, you live in a decent neighborhood. You should go buy in a shitty neighborhood. Like that's not necessarily that's saying, not a good argument Luke is, but, all the way down. But what Luke is arguing is that everybody like makes choices based on you know, hundred percent. You make choices based on what's right for your life, and yeah, yeah. Like, you make am, choices based I on agree, what you can but, afford. Uh, there's no way I am you pursuing stand up comedy. Yeah, you know? yes, that's the other thing. Yeah, that that's is okay. Fine, fine, but, but yeah. But it's if not you really worked in sales. If you got an right. entry level sales job in eight years, you'd probably be making one hundred and ten grand a year wherever you lived. But what are these poor, like elderly black people supposed to do? Are they supposed to go to Jersey too? Everybody's not supposed to have a perfect life, mm-hmm. or really even a good one. I mean, yeah. some people are just gonna have shitty. Do you lives. think that's easy for you to say because you have kind of a good one? I mean, I have a good one. You have a good one. It is you know? easy for me to say, but Don't like, you want to advocate for the downtrodden, like they say in Islam. Do you think? <laughs> do you genuinely think that? Do you genuinely think we could fix all the problems and everybody could live a nice life? Genuinely? Yeah, yeah. I think there's, you could make there's enough things. wealth. I think you can make to... some things better. There's a lot of wealth. There's a lot of wealth. There's enough there. wealth to where yeah, you, you got to stop with the scarcity argue, mindset. What right wingers argue is that it's already good. You enough. You got to start thinking about what's good for everybody instead of just you. You'll be much happier. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy, too, but I'm saying you'll be happier if you start thinking about, you know, the most vulnerable in our society. I think I'm pretty happy thinking about myself and my family for the most part. Sure. I mean, that's I mean, that's certainly I mean, that's certainly fair. I mean, I don't want other people to have bad lives, but I'm just aware that they do. And that's unfortunate. But wouldn't it be nice? But but start. But when you start doing the math in your head of what you've paid for this place, don't you think you deserve a little bit of. Equity. (laughs) I don't I don't think I do. No, I think you got it. Would you be upset? I wouldn't be upset at anybody giving me free money or real estate, but I, do I think that's the so way the world should a, work? Uh, no. Yeah, but I don't. I still don't understand really, like, I because like, it's like okay, this guy, this guy bought the house twenty years ago. He's 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 still making. He 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 earned in twenty years six hundred thousand in equity, and then he's still making. He's making a profit now. They're renting that place for. Forty two hundred dollars. Yeah. So he's still so probably he's making a profit. I understand what he's right. still getting income. He's getting income right. on the house. <laughs> so he's he's got his mortgage paid off. He's yes. got the listen. But here's how it's so unfair um, towards you know towards landlords. He's got his mortgage paid off. He's he's making passive income every month, and he's got the six hundred thousand in equity. So I'm just saying a little twenty thousand dollars for Mike <laughs> <laughs> All, all, all I want is twenty grand from this guy. <laughs> but just because I would enjoy equity in this house doesn't mean that I think that's the way the world. Works. No, no, no. But if you, all came, I'm if you came is, up to me, you drove up to me with a Corvette, and you said, "Lou, this is your Corvette now." And I said, "Where'd you get it?" And you said, well, "I stole it from this rich guy, this billionaire." But that's legal now. They passed a law where you're legally allowed to take billionaires' cars, and you can give them to whoever you want. Would I be psyched you gave me the Corvette? Yeah. Do I think that you should be legally allowed to steal cars? No. Okay, but if I said to you, "Hey, Luke, this uh, car that you've been paying." Four hundred dollars every month for is is now yours, or you own a little piece of it. Yeah, that'd be kind of nice. If like you're least, renting a car and you have it for like it's a lease. Yeah, and then well, here's okay. I know it's a lease, but it's not like everybody needs a place to live, so they kind of take advantage from that. They take advantage. Yeah, of that. I'm just from a place that's pretty cheap, and people aren't getting taken advantage of at the rate they are here. So I don't think Do, it's as big. I, of a problem. I, I, you don't I think, think poor people get taken advantage of in other people are much poorer. I think. You know, 
I don't know if the it's people still, were, I don't know still, if the people in the shitty areas of Buffalo are a lot poorer relative to where they live than the people in the There's still Bronx. poor people getting essentially exploited. It, because they are poor. Yeah. Sure. That's but, definitely true. I think to remedy that problem is not worth uh, completely altering the way real estate functions. Okay, do, okay. Well, have you heard of like uh, like speeding tickets in? I forget what country it is, but there's a, it's in Europe somewhere. It's like it's a percentage of your income. What do you? Uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Right. So, don't you think it should be some similar sliding scale with owning things, with owning property? But we do have income based housing. There is low income housing. No, but I'm I'm saying like. If you uh, like, say you're like in this landlord's position where he owns the house, he's made X, he's made you know hundreds of thousands of dollars already. He's just having pure profit on the thing. Don't you think there should be okay? Now there's room for a tenant to be less. Look, this fucked. guy, this guy made six hundred thousand dollars to do nothing. Give me twenty grand. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. This is where Racine, Racine, and Ripple, <laughs> Racine's point is: give Mike Racine twenty grand. I just want my twenty grand. Yeah, I just want what's. In, I just want what's mine. I love that. That's your figure. You, you worked out. There. I it's smash like, his head with a coffee pot. Yeah. Like, I'm like Richie April. That's just, the way to get your twenty I just grand. Want what's mine? Smash yeah. him with a yeah. yeah. <laughs> Richie April. There is a line. I just though. feel like they did, me, they did me so fucking dirty when they kept my security deposit because it's like I paid your goddamn mortgage for two years. You know. Probably you probably made a little extra on top of that. You made the equity in in twenty years. You yeah. get to like maybe sell the condo and send your dumbass kids to college. Yeah, the security and I got, deposit. And I got better I got than fucking that. kicked out of the place that I live. I'm with you on the security deposit thing. That's annoying. And you took and you fucking took twenty five hundred dollars from me. If I fucking burned the place down or seriously fucked it up because I was like a drug addict or something or was having yeah, crazy yeah, parties, yeah, that's know. fine. Sure. But most of the time, these guys will take your security deposit because yeah, like you, you chipped the on paint. A wall. Yeah, that's Wear and a, tear. if you have other people living in your your property you should have to pay to spruce it up for the next person yeah it shouldn't be that you have that previous tenant pay i'm with you on the security deposit thing yeah, i don't think sucks. you should own part of the property but i think that they shouldn't get to charge you for chipped wood and yeah. they take two grand from for the price of fucking living in do a you, house but do you think that that relationship is kind of ex- exploitative now where it's really. like they get to sort of can i get one of those yeah they get to kind of like make be, because they had that money to put the down payment on the place the money that our generation doesn't have now but yeah, some it's people in, in it's our gotten gen- so much more expensive to own a home right like what are the statistics on owning a home they're ridiculous there should probably and like how did that happen yeah be, uh, because of uh, inventory and inflation really yeah. right but wh- how do those things occur because of covid no, but no, no. I mean, I'm talking about like the, price the most difference. recent. Not, no, spike. I'm talking Come about on. the price. You're a bright guy, Luke. The most recent spike was because of the pandemic. Yeah. The most recent, but I'm saying like, but that was the take a house in ever. 1955. The price of it adjust for inflation, and then look at it now. It's like absurd the difference. But if you take away the last four years, it was steadily increasing at 10 to 12 percent a year. Whereas mm-hmm. if you put your money in the S and P, it's going to steadily increase eight to 10 percent per year. Any investment that's an appreciating asset increases at a similar rate. Sometimes you strike gold and you bought in Dumbo or Brooklyn Heights when they were shitholes and you 100 x your value. But that's because either you were savvy or lucky. And that's, but, but I think overall, outliers. but New York City real estate overall in the past 20 years, I mean, even buying in, in Carroll Gardens, you know, 20 years ago was um, probably still a pretty decent investment but this goes back but to my oklahoma kind of or central jersey point where i think that this there are going to be how would i live the, in how would i make money and live in oklahoma let's let's get oklahoma, central jersey you could live in central jersey yeah but then i'm driving into the city every night i got to think about child care i got to think about what, what time i leave for my spots like i don't know how much longer it would take you to get to your spot i'm from doing newark than it does from I'm, brooklyn today Heights. today i'm doing to promote my special I'm normal. <laughs> it was a great special. It was really funny. It was, yeah, I was funny. dying laughing. Thanks a lot. And I was telling you all the bros down, the young bros yeah, in yeah, Austin, Austin love it. The young yeah. bro comedians yes. in Austin. This kid People Jack, ask, I said we're from New York. He's like, do you, got, do you know Mike Racine? There's this question. kid, Jack O'Sullivan. Shout out Jack O'Sullivan. He's great a Navy guy. SEAL from South Boston. He was oh, like, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I like saw him. She's like, like dude. dude, do you know this fucking guy? Dude, this guy's a fucking savage. <laughs> yeah. He's like, dude, he's a legend. Dude, he loved you. And uh, what was he talking about? I forget who he saw, but he was I actually think we should abolish the military. <laughs> He's like, yeah, dude. I used to think fucking comedy was fucking gay. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's nice. like, did I see those? Like, this guy Mike is fucking cool. Dude. He's like, dude, I saw I'll Bird him. when I first saw Bill Burr. Like, Bill I was Burr. like, okay, you don't have to be like a nerdy gay loser. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah. He's like, I used to think it was fucking gay. Yeah, he was, I thought it was like for like these weird little. 
<laughs> comedy is stand up comedy is inherently kind of gay. It's kind of it's super gay. Podcasting is gay. Yeah, we're oh, gay. So yeah, no, hundred percent. We're, we're, we're fucking getting together and chit chatting. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're having just, a little. Yeah, we're spilling what, tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is what women that, in the eighties did. You know, this is what like anything. Filipino aunties do <laughs> at the coffee shop. True. We're gossiping about, about Neil Brennan. Yeah, we're, yeah. yeah, we're <laughs> spilling tea. It is like salon talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It and is then like we're like salon talk. <laughs> yeah, and then you're like eat the rich, and then Luke's like, no, they're the best, actually. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, Luke just fellas, a, fellas, fellas. Yeah, we've gotten. Into, we've you gotten know, John into Steinbeck that. said the only the reason socialism never took hold in America is people think they're temporarily you embarrassed, embarrassed millionaires. millionaires. Yeah, and I think you should maybe get rid of that. We, that. What do you mean temporary embarrassed? Like no, no one's poor. People in America, go, I'm gonna be. People go, I'm gonna be rich someday. So yeah. I, everybody wants to, you know, make it. They climb assume, the ladder. That's what the they American, think they're gonna. Everybody thinks they're gonna climb the ladder. That's what the American dream is. That's what oh, there's a reason they call you. it the American dream. Well, I'd be asleep, asleep to, to believe, believe it. it. Ever heard of it, George Carlin? <laughs> George Carlin. You ever baby. heard of him, dumbass? One of the smartest guys of all time. <laughs> fucking dumb. A philosopher. But I'm like a halfway poet, a, lo- a writer. You dumb I'm, Arab. I'm, I'm, I'm you enough. Dumb <laughs> fucking. You, you, How do you fucking walk <laughs> from New Jersey and become a Brooklyn socialist? You're a disgrace to your uncles, dude. Just, How did you become a my Brooklyn uncles, socialist? My uncles are pieces of shit. This is what I'm saying. My uncle works at the fucking airport. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's not a fucking Brooklyn socialist. How did an Italian no, guy he from probably Jersey is. become he's a, a working, he's working he's guy? Working, he's a How union guy. You know he's a union guy. Well, my my uncles are like my There's one a, uncle was a private detective, so like a professional snitch. <laughs> An Italian private so, detective is pretty. Yeah, funny. I mean my family's pretty like middle class, <laughs> a, and I worked my yeah, ass off my these, whole uh, life. I followed mm-hmm. him around, took these pictures. He's uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, being yeah. a naughty boy out there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, look yeah. at him. Oh, look at you, smooch. Yeah. Hey, it's down his wife. Yeah. Does it look like your wife? Uh, my uncle would sit in his car and listen to conservative talk radio all day. Yeah. Yeah. Which is probably a good life. I can't. That's what I I'm can't saying. Be awesome. Just yeah. I'm just I, I, following I, people around. Look, I want you to stalking. I, I love who you <laughs> are. It is fascinating. Not what you're you. supposed to be. Well, I'm just a complex I'm, person, I guess. You are. Out of all the things you could have been, a socialist living in Brooklyn is a. Hard I don't know word. if I'm really. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, but everybody should be a, a socialist. And some when you look at when, when you look at the amount of wealth that people have. They should, you know, what else they should do? They should cap wealth at like three hundred million dollars. Anything over that, you, it gets donated to uh, we have black this. children. <laughs> I agree. We are black had this children. Blind we did. Chinese oh, we did. Okay, okay, me okay. and him had this argument. You had this argument. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. We'll, no. Because we, I was, we'll move on. But uh, <laughs> no, he got mad yeah. at me. I didn't get mad at you. He got so. Mad I didn't get mad at you because he, he so thinks like a, he thinks he's like a big shot. He thinks he like deserves. He thinks he deserves all the money that he has. Dude, he's feeling himself too much. He's playing too much. He thinks he's a big shot. He hangs out with, he hangs out with fucking Tim Dillon and listens to all that horse shit. He thinks he's a rich guy. You're one of us, motherfucker. You're fucking oh, Lebanese. You're, Lebanese. A, you're a Lebanese wop. You're right. You're right. Look, yeah. you're fucking I don't think I'm a <laughs> yes, you do. That's so funny. I mean, no, I want to just own a home someday. And I don't. If I want to rent it out, I don't want somebody to own part yeah, of it. Yeah, rent. Yeah, right. You want to own a home someday, and you want to find a, a, a sweet family that works their ass off to, to funnel money to you. But you want other I people work, to work for you. What if I work my ass off and I just you like made that? I, you like more that idea. Than them. What's that? I work. I work my ass off too, but think, I made more okay. than them because so I think, worked in a different so industry. So you think you work harder than like a lady who cleans toilets? No, I don't work harder than a lady. <laughs> 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 this guy is kind of annoying. I know, I know I'm being kind of annoying right now, <laughs> but I am right. <laughs> All right. No, no, I don't think I work harder. But I'm like, I worked hard in my field. You did. You work hard in like, your field, or like, let's say, let's say you're. A do student. we work hard? I was a mover for fucking fifteen years. So was we, I. Yeah, you were. I was Not a mover. I was years. a bartender. For 10, I was either a mover, a bartender, a landscaper, or a waiter. But or, wouldn't uh, it have been nice for like all those, all those taxes that you pay to, 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 that, to, to go to like some kind of social safety net or some kind of whatever? I don't know. Maybe yeah. you get health care. So you get to go to the doctor. Well, taxes are a different issue. I'm not a tax guy. I don't like taxes. For the most part, yeah, you I mean, think you're rich. I'm defense. not a tax guy. That's what that's what that's what Wait, guys. Do you who, like taxes? That's what guys who sell cars say. Mike, do you like taxes? <laughs> I work my ass off selling well, these Hondas. <laughs> I'm not a tax guy. <laughs> you don't like taxes. Do you like what? taxes? I don't really pay that many. That much. <laughs> no, no, not that I don't pay taxes, but do you um, like the no, amount of taxes? Like, I, 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 no, I. Nobody likes paying taxes, but you would hope that your money goes to like. I don't know, not Israel. They go to tanks in a field or yeah. drone strikes on a baby, yeah. most of them. Wouldn't it be nice if we could, like, I mean, you don't have kids, but maybe you will someday. Wouldn't it be nice if you didn't have to pay $2,000 a month for daycare? 
Yeah, yeah. In Germany, they pay, well, in Germany, but the taxes are very high, obviously. You know, I know, you know, I'm not an idiot. I'm pro yeah. a lot of the I'm stuff. Not, I think we should have longer maternity leave and, yeah, like, yeah, affordable yeah. child care, and I think we nice should have to, lower taxes, or they should go to... We're like health, an incredibly they go to healthcare or whatever they are. You know, it's like, about a redistribution. This is an incredibly of wealthy. Paying. It's about a redistribution of, of what we're already. Paying I'm not as well. entirely opposed to that. I just don't think that if you pay rent at a guy's place, you should. Own yeah, but a piece don't you think place. he was? His whole point was, don't you think that the taxes that you were paying before went to different things? What do you mean? That as you were <laughs> like even the taxes you're paying now, don't you wish they didn't go? Do you to think that Jeff Bezos? One hundred percent. Yeah, the Iron Dome. Of course. Okay. Yeah. We're yeah. all on the same page. We have yeah. a little safety net. We get to take care of our old people. And this is what I'm saying. Well, yeah. he called me a car salesman, and I was, I was you, finishing. You agree, sound like I was a car agree, salesman. I was agreeing with you about <laughs> <a> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I was agreeing with you about that. You're like, look, think she sells Mercedes. But you do. But you do. You do pretty well, right? Financially, I'm. I'm doing all right. Yeah. Do you think you like? Do you think you got lucky, or do you think nah? This is a whole different conversation. But no, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I think I got. I think I also got lucky for yeah. sure. But we're I all very like, lucky. We're all very lucky. But it's like if I'm going to have a family I mean, You someday. got holes in your shirt. But. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is from 2007. This yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my all-star team. Yeah, I'm yeah. never getting rid of this. Shirt yeah, but it's also like team. if we wanted to be humanitarians, we could do that. Those, there's, there's, But that's a bullshit fucking no, thing to not. say. No, it's not. Yeah, it is, dude. You could, you could spend your time giving back to others. So could I. We I don't. Do. We've chosen to not do that. I, yeah, bought, but I, gave a, I gave a lady 20 bucks the other day to get McDonald's <laughs> for her and her baby. That's not, I'm giving homeless people money, too, for food. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But it feels it's, good, doesn't it? It does feel good. We it don't, feel, what if you had an entire system based on this good sort invest, of morality? Yeah, invest in, in society. There, there are options to do that now. Yeah. And we don't Wouldn't take school advantage. lunches for, for poor kids be kind of nice? I don't know. They get lunch. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, not yeah. good ones, but better ones. Shitty ass lunch, dude. Yeah. I wish they got better food. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I understand what you guys like. I don't know. I'm trying to articulate this better so that uh, Luke becomes a, a staunch socialist. Yeah. Like, Zero percent. Yeah. yeah. But um, I don't know. <laughs> it is the funniest. I think I'm <laughs> You're talking shot. about <laughs> That's the funniest. That is the funniest response possible. <laughs> he thinks he's a big shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so, it's so funny. It just Mike nullified Racine everything. Owns, <laughs> owns too much. No, if we were like That's retarded, the Mike Racine, socialist dog walks. <laughs> yeah, yes. No, if Makes we were Republican like, drink, can you clip that? If we were retards yeah, we'll who played, that. if we were retards who played God of dog War all day, too much. <laughs> <laughs> please, yeah, we big should business get fucked by socialist <laughs> yeah. king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're saying like people have the individualized choices in order to do this? I think the whole point is that no one will ever make that choice, especially. Especially in America. But what about the people that do? It's it's not enough to... It's inconsequential. Yeah, it's inconsequential. Or it's, it's like guys like Bill Gates, who you're like, thank God for Bill Gates. But no. there are... You're there talking are, about Elon Musk. Thank God Bill money. Gates is sterilizing African people, yeah, whatever thank God weird he's like, shit he's doing. Yeah, injecting them with, you know, fake COVID things that yeah. give them, like, you know, four eyes. Pushing the shit. vaccine on us. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> you don't that's like an that. easy... That, I don't like that. We can meet but that's an, easy, right. that's an easy uh, justification for why you're not doing no, That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. You can make a living building houses in New Orleans. You're talking about the individual's power you're talking about 900 or however what uh, 400 million people in america all individually making choices to be better people versus living in a system that joe rogan said he was morality. gonna vote for bernie sanders remember that yeah, yeah, yeah that was fun yeah. those days are long gone yeah, yeah. No, well he's not he likes rfk he clearly likes rfk yeah which i like him more than fucking biden um dude look you can some you should read what he says about israel i know i hate that yeah but the, but they all love israel yeah. None of none of the three candidates have anything to do with Palestine. We can all live comfortably or live well enough. Working, my friend used to work for Habitat for Humanity. Mm-hmm. He went down to New Orleans. He lived. You're still just talking about individual choices. I'm talking about a system that does that. That actually has that yeah, built what you, into what it. you do is no, like, the value that you put you, into the system gets paid back. If you change, which the it clearly system, doesn't. It's right. clearly not. I think we all agree. It does with if that. you work for Habitat for Humanity. No, but, but yeah, no, but, 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 but it but, should be built into the fabric of society, not this extra choice that is now my. My responsibility to do, to give pe- poor people houses that's, Look, that, that's you, not the individual person's responsibility, but it is in capitalism. If you change they, the system, but the government also they does. eschew responsibility. The you government also it. does give poor people houses. It does, but I'm saying they're eschew, they should be not much enough. much better at it. That's fine. I'm, I'm with if you, you there. change the system, you can help drastically more people than like you know giving yeah. a lady twenty dollars, which I do all the time. Right. Yeah, you're, you're taking it. I'm not talking about giving And think money about the laughs. The the guys, street. think about the laughs we give. Yeah. Yeah. Right. About is, that, the smiles at home. We do give yeah. back. Yeah, we for free. Back. We are modern day Mostly for free. 
Yeah. Mostly for free, I'm giving away smiles and laughs all mm-hmm. around Brooklyn mm-hmm. and Manhattan. We're contributing. We're really unlike my for- fucking landlord. Does <laughs> yeah, <contribute> shit. <laughs> yeah. How many smiles and laughs does he give? Zero. Out? With the Zero. amount of smiles you've given out, you should get. I would say I'd ballpark it around twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. Get you know equity, what, we should you get know equity landlord, in the comedy clubs for how many giggles we give. Right. Out. I'm fine with that because they're pieces of shit. <laughs> you know what my landlord <laughs> produced? Nasty emails for me. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty, nasty, filthy emails from that guy. Do you, <laughs> sorry, you're getting. Do sorry, you're getting dunked on on camera like this. No, it's all right, dude. I could take a dunk. You're not getting dunked on. He's getting fucking windmill dunked. He wish. No, he's he's. I'm sorry. I'm just fucking around. You know, we're you just know. goofing. We're, you're uh, getting what? you're getting gang banged. You're getting ganged up. I on You power. believe in the the power of the individual and the family, and I, I yes. agree with you. It's very important. Yeah, we all yeah. agree. Yeah, Fundamentally, I think we all agree on most things. I also don't want. I don't want to be in this thing with everybody else. This, I don't like when it's the the group and the. I, what are you talking about? I don't I don't like socialism. I don't want to be that. You want to be on the, the right thing. side of the wall. Yeah, I want to be on my own. <laughs> I want to be, be over on my community. own section yeah. as much as I can. I don't want to be mm-hmm. with don't, everybody else. I don't think this. I don't, don't want to contribute they're... with everybody else to our own big pot of blah blah. blah. I want to as much as I can. I want to contribute to my own stuff, and everybody else can contribute to theirs. What if stuff. you paid for a week of summer camp for my kid? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you feel good about yourself? <laughs> it's like seven hundred bucks for, uh, for over a week of summer camp, <laughs> and he gets to go to the Brooklyn Preschool of Science and, 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 for, and go and experience Bug Week. <laughs> I'll pay. I'll pay for your kid's summer camp, but he's got to go in Oklahoma. Oh, he's got to go to Oklahoma summer camp. Yeah, oh, with, all the, with, all the, with all the white trash. Yeah, he's got to go. He's got to learn to shoot cans. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit, dude. Yeah. So funny. It's funny it's called Bug Week. Anyway. <laughs> the, yeah, Brooklyn, they ha- the Brooklyn School of They Bug have different week. weeks of the summer camp. Oh, uh, it's yeah. so funny. But I'm saying, like, you're not at the level of, like, the, the highest people, the wealthiest people. It's not, not close. In New York, it's... No. Yeah. New York, I don't know if I know between... anybody in New York. Maybe a couple comics with rich parents, but, like, yeah. really rich ones. Yeah. But even the people with rich parents even here, if it's, you not, asked, it's not the same rich parents as most cities. Even if you asked our, our dinner patron, Tim Dillon, <laughs> if he would rather... If his taxes would rather go to, you know... Whatever, but no, I, I don't want my taxes going to Israel. Yeah, yeah. no, I'm, I'm a almost no free one. Palestine guy all day. Me too, but I also want to like own a property and rent it out someday. Yeah, to like a Palestinian. Yeah, you can you can do be? that. It's just the the family that cleans toilets that is renting your property gets to own a little piece of it <laughs> <laughs> if you want to engage in that relationship. Dude, it gives me like anxiety thinking about that. What giving a little? It's money not like away. you don't. Yeah, them it's not like you don't gain thing. I don't want the toilet lady owning my my. It's just a portion apartment. of the profit that you. I make. mean, my my position is pretty moderate. You know, if you talk to somebody more left of me, they'd be like, anybody more left of you the, is psychotic. We should kill the landlords and put them in a ditch. Yeah, these people are insane. <laughs> Pile them up high. <laughs> That's retarded. <laughs> Burn the bodies. That's yeah. retarded. Well, I'm, well sure, I'm sure in China they had fun killing all those landlords. Yeah. Probably had a good time. <laughs> that must have been a blast. Yeah, everyone's yeah. everyone's loving life in China. <laughs> yeah, it was great. China's yeah, yeah China's real utopian. Well, you just, you like just make now. your landlord dig the hole that you put his dead body. <laughs> in. <laughs> That'd be a really good day. Yeah, and then afterwards you'd be like, ah, yeah, I feel a little bad about. There that. are a lot of killable landlords. Oh, of course, sure. I've met some killable landlords. I mean, I just sure. think a lot of it's it's almost like the people attracted to being landlords are shitty. But they're just taking they're taking well, advantage of kind of a not fair system. It's not really fair that because uh, it's needed. It's it's almost like food or something. It, it is like food. It's like food. Food should be free too. Like food the should Chinese probably. buffet should be free. <laughs> there should be a Chinese buffet. There in should every, be a Chinese buffet in every in every ghetto. There should be a free Chinese buffet. Bro, <laughs> that's that's how hype it. would that be? I would way rather my tax money go to Chinese buffets in the hood than is. Yeah, yeah. I think we, that's better. where we can all agree. Yeah, we've yeah Chinese buffets. Yeah, I love Chinese buffets. Or as Christoph calls them, comedy club waiters. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> no, Christoph's like, I'll help myself to some comedy club <laughs> waiters. Yeah. Guys. Oh, mm. Mm. Green room waiters. <laughs> that's not what I meant. You're not, oh, mm, not what I'm looking at. <laughs> you know that's not what I meant. You know that the, you know room, it's not what I meant. Close oh, that God. green room door, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Locks from the outside. Yeah. Close that green room door. Show me your crab ragoon. Oh, come on, dude. I would never. I've never had SCX with a comedy club waitress. You're missing no? out. You're really not missing out. <laughs> I've never even done that. <laughs> you're not missing out. <laughs> <laughs> I go, you're missing out. And then I just started thinking of the Rolodex. I'm like, you're not missing out. Yeah, well, your life. You met your lovely. Fun. That's kind of a. My, a but that's kind of the love of your life. Yeah. Love my life. In a oh, comedy that's sweet. Club. And yeah. It's kind of a flex. 
Dude, that picture that Luke took of uh, at him at, the, at Quality Meats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, he, Quality he, Meats. He looked like the guy after the heist, after he's, he's told not to spend <laughs> yeah. money. <laughs> yeah. He's at, yeah, he's like, I got a fur coat. I'm getting some bazooka for me and my girl. What the fuck's the matter with you? <laughs> no. I said, oh, you fucking idiot, my guy. I said nothing big. I look like Frankie yeah. Carbone. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 we bought the cattle. Yeah. Uh, dude, dude, so I went. I went to some Italian restaurant with my girlfriend. We had this wonderful night. Yeah. She's like, "Oh my god! Like the pasta's great. We're having this and that." And she's like Instagramming it. And we had this yeah. lovely time. I see w- goes two weeks later. He posts one Instagram story. It's on the same plate of pasta we got. He said, "This is dog shit. I paid twenty eight dollars for it. I could have made it at home." <laughs> oh, the same restaurant. Same restaurant. What restaurant? Really? Can you say? Ol- Olio Pew. Oh, okay. You were gonna take oh, your pants. You know, it, it wasn't. It wasn't great. It was fine. It was, Where, what, it was what do you think fine. Italian and? New York. What do you do? You have a favorite, like a nice, like a nicer Italian? Yeah, I mean, there's places like in Brooklyn that are good. Like yeah, those little, those little like hole in the wall places. Lucali's like, great. Lucali's great. You yeah, gotta wait for like three hours. Oh, oh really? Amazing. There's no reservations. No, you just gotta wait. In but Monty's is good, but it's like red sauce. But Monty's good. I always Marco that- Polo is really good. It's yeah? like a, just a classic. I like red. I sauce always think everyone, red sauce Italian gets this like kind of slur to it. I'm like, that's my favorite thing. But I do. The but thing you can that make he it at does. home yes. for like. A, a fraction cents. of the cost. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I do. I do, I do that with red sauce Italian. That's a, that's I'm fair. like, I could just go to my mom's house yeah. and she'll so just fair. make Well, you guys dish. grew up in Italian households. I guess it is different. But yeah, I wasn't make, like getting really nice but like chicken Maria, parmesan at home. But like, like Maria. Christoph, you can make an amazing marinara sauce in like on your stovetop in 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah well, just what, With tomatoes, Shinto, onions, and butter. Uh, and salt yeah, and that, pepper. Yeah. And salt like maybe some basil or something. And you can buy some fresh pasta. At the store, true. Yeah, and it's not. Yeah, you can make it. Getting for like that six in a bucks. restaurant that sounds like, so oh, good getting, right now. Yeah, I'm it's getting. really nice. Whereas, like, you go to like Marea and they have like that octopus fusilli. It's like my mom can't make mm. that. Okay, like, yeah. it's not like mom. Your mom used wasn't to making make. octopus fusilli. No, I don't know whose mom makes octopus fusilli. My yeah, mom yeah. made octopus fusilli every night. <laughs> She's sending me off to school with a big pack of octopus <laughs> <Yeah>. fusilli. Takes <laughs> like a thermos, <laughs> a thermos <laughs> of octopus. <laughs> like just pulling out a whole octopus. <laughs> It's for Shirley, Shirley. And that should be illegal, though, because they're very smart animals. <laughs> they are geniuses. Yeah. Have you been, uh, There's a TikToker. Have you been following them? With, uh, and you just eat them. You know? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. fucked up. That's like eating like the kid who won the spelling bee. <laughs> <laughs> eating an octopus. He's like, please do not. No, please. <laughs> please do, not, do not eat me. I'm just swimming around and minding my own business. Yeah, I was trying to not make it racial. but <laughs> <laughs> Well, who won the spelling bee? You're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, was I'm it Kevin? We, I'm glad we fixed this country. Yeah, yeah we, we got to the, the bottom, bottom of things. Yeah. And octopus fusilli, yeah. um, red sauce is easy to make. I, that sounds really good. i got to make some red sauce for myself. But you like the idea of <laughs> of having enough money from stand-up comedy, which is inherently like immoral Retarded. to make money yeah. that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> make too much money. We agree with that, Hunter. I yeah, think we're yeah. all on the same page there. Yeah. The amount of money it makes now is psychotic. psychotic. Well, this is going to end. This and then you end. can... Yeah, no, it has no to end. End. There's no way. This conversation? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. The, the infrastructure of stand-up comedy right now. It's yeah. too big. It's too it's popular. It's going to burst. It feels like real estate. Like, it's like fake. You too know? popular. I'm like... In 2008. Yeah. Dude, all these people love it so much. I'm like, why? I, know, I get why, I like, way, some too. people who have problems, like, we have problems, like comedy, and they need it or whatever. But, like... <laughs> it's, like, way too like, hot right now. But, yeah, when, like, every other person loves comedy, I'm like, what do you like about it? Like, there's a way better shit. Yeah. Well, we've, we're also com- so I do three podcasts a day. I want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't but, think a podcast is just, by nature, like, worse than, like, a really good band? Like, that band we saw, Nether Hour, was great. Yeah, And I was like, really this good. is better than any podcast. Yeah, but they can't do what we do. Let's be honest. Yeah. They can't do what we do for the amount of time. I think what the they thing about... like, an hour and a half long set. It's pretty Yeah, good. they do that, and it's the same thing every time. Like, it moderately so. changes. We have a... I know I'm, like, trying to... I want this podcast to be big. I'm like, why, why does anybody listen to No, this? I understand what you're saying. But I also think we're so close to it that it becomes... Like, I mean, when's the last time you sat through a show that you're on? I get why some it. people it's like, like I never comedy. watch it. I get yeah. why some people like comedy. People go see comedy twice a year. People, we see it every day. But people... A lot of people really like it A lot of people like really it, like now. it now. A yeah. lot, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And more than they used to, but I'm saying most It's a little people, odd to me that this many people like this thing. Because 10 years ago, it wasn't like that. No, no. It's not no. football. Like yeah. it's like not that great. It's good. It's yeah, not football. Yeah. It's not a fucking. But also football. Because ten years ago, I was like featuring for Colin Jost at, at Zanies. He was doing yes. Zanies. You know, mm-hmm. the yeah. small, like which is a pretty small room. Right? Yeah. But and now, now it's like everybody's doing arenas. Yeah, everybody's yeah. doing arenas. Arenas. A lot of well, I think it does kind of like work. But, but a, a lot amount. of people. I'm doing a good arenas. amount of people. Yeah. Dude, comics we know will sell out an arena faster than like, like. 
like a basketball like, game. Like Drake. <laughs> like, like, a ra- like a rapper. Yeah. Let's not disrespect it's probably our, our fans, though, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no. You guys they're are all, good people. They're mentally ill. They <laughs> give us money <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Thank yeah, you guys. every you fan. You guys changed my life. Dude. If you if you buy a house someday, every fan that bought a ticket should own a piece of your house. I think they should own a patch of grass in the backyard. Uh, okay, but the relationship with those people <laughs> is twenty bucks for a ticket. Yeah, and then you get a show. Okay, but the, that's the a house, that's a one to one transfer. They should own part of the IP in the bits. Imagine if they paid. Imagine if okay. Imagine <laughs> yeah. if audience the IP members, in the bits. They didn't write the bits. I wrote the fucking bits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's more like, uh, imagine if you bought, I'm trying to think of like an analogy, like if uh, renters are audience members. Well, because a piece of property is like, yeah, worth money and you rent it. Yeah, and it increases. Increases. Yeah. Yeah. Your comedy's worth money, technically speaking. It is worth money. Yeah. It is definitely worth money. But it's not a tan- it's not a need, first of all. It's they don't need, need yeah. to go see comedy. Yeah. It's like if, it's like uh, if I bought a comedy ticket and then if I didn't, I would die. Right. Some people would. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people would. Some of these of freaks. See how many fucking people are watching Kill Tony? Some of these fucking oh would die, dude. God. Some of them would die. Some of these yeah. fucking retards would <laughs> drop and dead. And they'd take if a they few can. people out with them. Some of these retards <laughs> would fucking drop dead if they can't yeah. see the new Tom Segura special. Yeah, they, they would. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying, that's my point. That's the All whole right, point. Look. It's the difference between shelter and stand up comedy is pretty night and day. Yeah. Speaking of stand up comedy, I got to go to this goddamn show. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, what watch my special. Like I'm normal. Really good. I'm All normal. Right. Mike Racine. He's the one he's of the best of the year. So funny. Thanks. Yeah, it's great. on YouTube for free. It's on on YouTube, YouTube for free. You're doing pretty well, dude. Is it? I yeah. think you're doing well. Last yeah, time I checked I it, I had like six figure views. It was great. Yeah. Deb posted little milestones. I think that's adorable. Your, your wife posts yeah. little milestones. Yeah. I think it's that's nice. nice. That's yeah. a family unit. Yeah. That's nice. And well, out for smokes. I'm getting those donations. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Donate. Yeah. Donate. Can they donate? Listen, if if people if if I made, okay, let's let's see. If let's say, let's say if I made I'm trying to think of a good analogy, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I made a hundred thousand dollars from the special, mm-hmm. and they said give ten percent of that back to the people who donated, I'd go. All right, fine. You got me. That's fair. Okay. I, I mean, think. that's very nice. Well, you're gonna yeah. pay it in taxes anyway. If you made hundred grand, on sure. The special. Yeah, at least a little bit. I'd give a little back. Yeah? Yeah. That's nice. Probably not. Zero dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but it's different from a, just a piece of property that doesn't, that only appreciates in value. I think comedy gets better over time. No, it doesn't. <laughs> comedy gets worse over Age time. is like bread. It really, yeah, yeah it's terrible. Yeah. Anyway, right, you guys, gotta go. listen out for Mike's smokes. Yeah, I just want my twenty thousand dollars from this for piece smoke. of shit. Give Mike his twenty thousand dollars. Luke's going to give Mike twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. Harass Mike's landlord. Yeah. Shout out to the weaklings. Shout we out to the weeklings. Thanks for Thank watching, you guys. Boys. Thanks for watching. We'll Bye. see you next week. <laughs> and sure. another guy. <laughs> Dude, that thing where you call me a big shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a funny.